your research on the Bible, wouldn't that be not only a, a much better way to spend your time, but also be more in line with the fact that if the Holy Spirit is in you, and if the Holy Spirit will make you change your ways and, and make you do good works, wouldn't those be the works that would be preferred? Peter, I think that in regards of all these uh, issues which have been raised by Xerxes and by all you guys, um, there are people which are much more qualified, which do that for, for life, to be theologians. To, mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, so there is a lot of work out there. And I think I, I have already broadened very much my, my, my extents of, of research let's say but um uh, yeah it is but possible wouldn't, wouldn't, I... wouldn't the bible be much more important to you to do your research on than some theory that an atheist according to you came up with in order to disprove god wouldn't the bible be the the one and only thing you should focus on and make sure that you have that 100% correct Charles Darwin belonged to the first, Church of England. Well, first of all, one hundred percent correct is 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 maybe something which uh, nobody. Now, okay, will, okay, will, I, I'll will, grant will, you that. We will, will reach that as close but, as you can get to that. But but I think studying the Bible is something which every Christian should do, which I do. I I agree with you that in the last um, five, six, six, seven years, maybe I have spent more time in regards of science and philosophy, less in theology. And it is pretty possible that I will spend more time um, scrutinizing the Bible, but I am doing that. And as I said recently, I uh, did read a book, which I, which I say again, Google um, Undesigned Coincidences, which address precisely these discrep the supposed discrepancies between the Gospels, and it is very interesting. So I recommend anyone to Google for that. And if you need a link to the book, uh, you can just send me um, a message here on, on politics, and I give you, you can uh, download load the book for free and make your own investigation. Well, I hope you do put in the time and start investigating it. it put in the time and start investigating it. it 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 has become pretty apparent that there's a lot of work you still need to do when it comes to the bible namely Uh, let me, uh, let me just hang on a second here and see if I can, let's see, uh, first I'll check my volume here and see how it's doing. So I'm just going to wait till my system catches up. So I'm just going to, if I can, stop, stop, bridge the divide. Um, I have a issue right now where I have to switch uh, microphone um, speakers, I should say. And because it's running off the wrong speaker, which I didn't fix before I started streaming, it's now lagging. So let's give it some, a few seconds to catch up. Do you like some tunes in the meantime? I think you deserve tunes in the meantime. <laughs>
try now. It's acknowledging that God and evolution and abiogenesis are not mutually exclusive concepts. Animal products are okay to eat. There we go. When you follow this religious text. You with me so far? Do you have any of those pictures? Um, Jason, I'm starting to wonder if the I... reason you don't want to talk about broccoli is because it might be an antidote to everything you're you're suggesting here. I, I can't. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want to bring it to that. We got, wait, special I'm very. I'm, I'm actually, actually really curious. I don't want to say that. I don't want to say, say that specifically. I'm actually really curious what T Jump. I'm curious what T Jump has to say about this because. Go ahead. So, Jason, what is the argument? So yes, we have bacteria and stuff, and some religious people don't have it because they don't eat pigs. So what is the point? But those religious people that are not allowed to eat pigs are allowed to eat. Chicken, goat, cow, which also and, which brings a different type of parasite. And and that's there's your God. you it has the ability to control you from the inside using your own brain. No, it is not a god because it was it's younger than me. Those bacteria, they didn't exist before I existed. So they can't be God. So they couldn't what? have created me. All those bacteria in your brain, mm. they they have a life cycle of about a few weeks to a few months and then they die so they reproduce so so all of the bacteria uh, these things live with you brain. up to 33 30 years and plus but you could nice. have you could have a, I'm you have a parasite that you so, have gotten from your you when you were a right. child so, so, so if there's a 60 year old guy that parasite the the specific <laughs> cell did not exist that long the cell reproduced and it's chilling i'm not here to existed. argue about this i'm not arguing about, I'm, I'm presenting you um I'm answering. I'm presenting you. So, it doesn't. It doesn't no. matter if you believe it's a god or not. What constitutes a god? It doesn't have to. It doesn't have to create you in order to be. What? Something has to be your god. It doesn't have to create what? you. All it has to do is uh, manipulate your entire worldview, manipulate your entire life, and d determine whether you live or you die. And this is what this thing does. I, I'm curious. I'm curious, Jason. What is no. the what you're saying that the these these parasites that live in human beings' bodies and they they secrete they have. I guess the secretions or in the lower test, and then they, they secrete okay. chemicals that induce us to be more, I sinful. guess, like uh, sinful. Sinful is the word that would exactly describe. Okay, okay. It. What? Well, okay, okay. What is the name of the chemical that they secrete that results in mental control? Uh, it's a simple. It's a simple proton secreted in the right uh, portion of the brain. What's Pro the name proton. of it though? What is the a proton? Or you mean a uh, protein? protein. Okay, what is the name of the protein? Oh, I'm not sure. It, it varies depending on what uh, parasite you're dealing with. Do you think we would we would not have identified this at this point? We have. No, you're just not. You're just, it's, there's it's no Disney movies about it, so that you don't know. There's no. There's no PBS. Toxic, toxic yes, sir. Yes, sir. Gandhi. So it, it's it's that's he's, one. It's that's one. Thing. That's one, and yeah. that affects up to eighty-five to ninety-five percent of the world, well, depending on what source you're. You're referencing. Well, TJ, he also he also thinks that he also thinks that Toxo can of the world. he also thinks that Toxo can reproduce outside of uh, outside of cats. So no, no, I, I, wanted to, I wanted to correct you about this because you seem to spaz out about this every single time. Toxoplasma gondii is supposed to be in a cat. The, the object, objective of this is is to be in a feline, but it can live inside of a human body. It can reproduce inside it of a cannot. human body. It cannot. It but cannot. Often, it can only reproduce in up, cats. Shut up! Tired of you interrupting me, man. Oh my, oh my God, down, down. Just shut up, chill. man. Just shut Jason, chill, your mouth. Chill. I'm, 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 I'm not cussing. I'm not cussing. I'm being interrupted. Can you check that goof, please? I'm saying one at a time. Don't attack each other one at a time. Come on. Yes. Thank you. What was I saying? What was I? What was I saying? You were gonna say this. Found worldwide, Toxoplasmosa gondii is capable of infecting... I have to go and get some lunch real quick. Sydney, Sydney, wake up! Wake up! Are the only definitive oh, please! Sydney! I literally just said that. I li Dude, sexual reproduction in the... In the Sydney! No, no, no. That's what you're missing. No. Alright, I can't see you. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. There you are. There you are. Hello. Okay, yeah, I just want to talk to the um, admin, the helper admins of politics server to try to get you back in there. Oh. Like, are you being... Am I what? Are, 
Are you banned from politics server? Because you have a lot of friends in there. Oh no, I'm banned. No, no, no. I mean, you you got banned from politics and religion server PNR. Yes, and politics. Wow. See, they're scared of me. They're absolutely petrified of me. I'm not scared of you. Especially you. <laughs> How could you get banned from politics server? That's an atheist <laughs> server. I, look, I They're all atheists in there. I didn't know that I was banned until right now because I, you know, I was watching it live or, or streaming it live. Um, yeah. From uh, Bridge the Divide. Thank you, JL. Um, and mm -hmm. um, I tried to get in there. I tried to even look for it, but it wouldn't even come up. And politics and religion, I looked. It doesn't even come up in my in my search, so um, I am I'm cancelled. I just know the PNR server. That's where you have all, all your enemies that are in there. You know, the enemies from Hangouts. They're yeah, all in you're there. You're supposed to face your enemies in battle. That's the way the world works, isn't it? Face your you know, Sasha. No, Sasha, Amber's group, Amber's, Sasha, all that. Joshua, remember Joshua, Josh? They're all yeah. in there. Yeah. Hey, Cindy, why, why would you, what, what's the motive uh, of, of you being uh, allegedly banned? Well, banned. I don't really oh, DD. know. It's been a long time. So like, it's been years Gary. and years and years, so I don't yeah. know. No, I mean it was the the main reason was Gary because Gary went to the room owners. He yeah, it was Gary. He went straight to the owners and admins. I call that a victory. I absolutely call that a victory. Yeah, but I'm looking at I'm looking at right now. I, I just pop in uh, onto the well. I mean, I, I, I just hit the tab, right? Server, Oscar. Yes, 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 yeah. But what I'm saying, is, yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, what I'm saying is that I see uh, the founders being Dolby and Fonzo, right? So yeah. are we are we, are we saying that these two, one of these two allow it to doobie. for, for, for Do, is that Doobie did you say? Yeah, Doobie. Doobie okay. is not online. Or, I've heard Gary mention the word the name Doobie quite a few times, so it's probably indeed. Yeah, yeah. 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 This yeah. guy, this guy is is an ass licker of uh, of uh, okay. Darth there Talkings. You there you go. Right. Yeah. Um, oh, I will, I will, I will, I will inform Doobie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard of it as well. Do we do Scooby Doo? All oh, right, okay. But anyway, so I can actually send him a text message later and saying, "Why the fuck has he banned you? Or what's the reason between uh, behind the band?" Oh, because, the, the, the well, thing no, about... Zay's just said because uh, Gary told him to. Nah. But Gary, but right now, Gary and Doobie. Gary isn't. Gary is having a falling out riff with Doobie. Gary's upset, very upset, angry in a fight with Doobie right now. So they're not friends anymore. Oh. Right, right. So it might, it might be, it might be a, a legacy thing that you've been, you've been blocked. So it is, it is quite uh, feasible for you to actually text Doobie and says, "Listen, I think there's been a misunderstanding or whatever, or, or that motherfucker has left the server." I talking about Duff Talkies, and can you reinstate me? Happy days. Well, who did text? Uh, do we? The army just to send in a DM. Uh, not from me. From no, I have to be. I have to be. It's like it's like when you when you when you join an exclusive club, you can't just join. You have to be introduced. <laughs> yeah, okay. But I no, hold on, but okay. right, hold on, let me switch on my oh, I just camera. Turn those backlights off there. They're disturbing me. Do you have a disturbance in the force? Right, he's trying right. to oh, switch the camera. The com yeah, 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 for some reason. She Come on, switch on. She's probably gone to do some good work, good deeds. Yeah, recon. Why can't I not see your camera? Yeah, because I'm trying to switch it on, and for some reason it's doing some fucking weird stuff. Oh, oh I, so I, I, I might watched, have to... Uh, Right. 
I was watching your video on the Three Stooges. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 it's these people that make it so obvious that human beings are just fucking gullible and stupid and dumb. Yes, 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 yes. And, 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 uh, and we're supposed to be uh, lost cow, uh, daft talking, but ironically, the, these preachers are love cowing, uh, these uh, gullible people. That's a sad part of it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Camera, it won't turn on. Hold on for a second. Okay, so it's off. Turn on. Sometimes just leaving the application and coming back in helps. Or making sure that it's off. or making sure that it's set correctly in the in the video and in the settings called. Let me see your voice and video. Voice and video. Microphone. Video setting. Test video. Nah, it, it won't. It won't go. But I think. Let me. Let me do something. Let me. Let me get out. And then come back in. Yeah. And get in. That might be the case. Yeah. Hold on. Let me see if I can. I have one viewer. Just look at that. Right. Say hi in the chats. I know who you are. Hello. To the one viewer. Hello, hello. Oh, yeah, that's probably me. <laughs> hello. Yeah. Fuck, the camera's not going. No, uh, no turn sure off my camera. Working. Turn off. Come on, you're a crane operator. Figure it out. Yeah, no, I'm working on it. <laughs> Shit. That you know what? That, that that's the sad part that I, I find about this fucking asshole that I'm talking is, is that they don't they don't they don't know the level of uh, um. You know. I wonder if it's my camera that's not doing the fucking chocolate. Oh, you can reason to. I'm going to try to turn my camera off and see if it improves. It's like. Hold on. Have I got any something else? Ah, oh, I know what it is. You mother. Yeah, I know what it is. I know. It's because I still got open OB. Yes. And it's is mm. I, I still had all close OBS and it's yes. yes, 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 yes. But so, you still might have to go yeah. out and come come back in again. I'm not sure. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, let me try mine. Let's see if I can Yeah, yeah. No, it was my side. My camera that's it, that's it. <laughs> oh, okay, well, it's just, it's just, um, I think it's using up a lot of juice. I, I've got too much loaded. No, it's your internet, I think it is. Your, your speed, bandwidth. No, it's not, it's my, uh, it's not my bandwidth. It's the fact that I've got too much open in my, on my computer. Let me, close, let, me, let me close that one. Introduce you to my ratchet strap. See, I closed okay. one tab and it helped. Uh, I can close this one. I close that one. There we go. That should be getting. Yeah, you got enough. Uh, um bandwidth to no yes idea. you're you're a little bit more fluid yeah yeah because i'm yeah. closing i'm close it's my, it's not the bandwidth really it's my computer a kind of tabs 
because I'm watching the CPU meter here, and it's just maxing out. That that doesn't help if you're actually watching something else. So in a in a tab, okay. that is a bandwidth uh, drainer. Is that right? All right, let me close that. Well, then. what do you reckon? I mean, yeah, I'll close it. Well, it's all relative to the maximum bandwidth that you got. I understand. I understand. There, I closed it. Is that that should be way better now? Then. Yeah, I can see you moving. Like... No, it's still choppy. Yeah, straight away. No, it's still choppy. What else can I close? Let me close that. Uh... Well, uh, the question is: Are we going to watch the Darth Dawkins, or are we just going to talk about it? Because I've got the the I got the app with the video. Wait a second. I don't understand what you said. Okay. Um, I actually asked you a question. Are we going to watch the Darth Vader? Right, Vikings I did. Or just have a chat? Whatever. Well, have you got uh, Darth Dawkins? Yeah. Hold on, I'll... Uh... Bring. Bring it on. Bring right, it on. I've got to switch my camera. And I've got, I got some stuff... I got I got some stuff that I will gonna do next week, so it's gonna be juicy. The same as what I did today. Excellent, excellent. I've got another yes. to do as well. So <laughs> we're all dark talkings. Yes. Gary is getting <laughs> deluged. The delusion of Gary. Yeah, I'm kind of choppy. I see my camera. I got to switch my camera off. So sorry, everybody. Yeah, but think about this for a second. What? No, that's fine. But think about think about this for a second. If you need to switch your camera off, something is draining it. Your your bandwidth has been drained somehow, mm -hmm. right? And, yeah, it, and if you it, start, I, it all for, it all it all points back to the to the processing power of my computer. No, oh. no, 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 no. It, it is your bandwidth that's causing the problem. I mean, yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> it's a mixed bag, right? The processing power is the speed that, that your computer can can receive all the information that you're processing and 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 shoving it out into the, into the internet, right? Yeah, for sure, right? But you have to know which one is the lesser, i.e., which one is doing uh, which one is doing the extraneous work and which one is not. In other words. Is your is your for example one of the ways you can see it is if you got a CPU with with its own software you can see the chart right and then you can see how much bandwidth is pushing out how much CPU consumption is it got is going is it is it doing ninety percent of the of the cap, uh, capacity yeah uh, basically what what the what the computer does is uh, exchange packages mm -hmm. right amount of packages yeah, backwards and forwards. Right and and the speed of it, which is the processing power, uh, how much how much you can process in, in one second or milliseconds, right? It is is how fluid? You, no, not how fluid. Is how much you can push out, right? So if you got, for example, my one is fucking is is a fucking monster, yeah. right? So I I am I have not even pushed the boundary. This one is going in idle right now, like this. Yeah, the only beef that I got with this is OBS fucking up the cameras in different sources. That I cannot figure out yet. Oh, all right. Right? So that's that's the only thing I have to uh, uh, research, which I don't, obviously I do not know. Right. right? For example, if I open OBS, this one here, and, and any of the web browsers, uh, sorry, uh, i.e. StreamYard or Melon, which is a competitor, then it creates issues because he's saying no 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 that's my camera no no that's my camera blah, blah, blah. so you, you get mix mix inputs that's why you get fucking uh, one of them say no ba basically it's similar to what you have it now similar yeah but i i am going to um aim for getting a new a new computer at some point uh, hopefully i don't know how soon but um, hopefully soon enough. 
What, uh, how can I say this? Have you got a PC tower, right? Or are you, are you working from a laptop? I'm working from uh, Ethernet. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. A desktop Ethernet connected. Yeah, but have you got a tower PC? Uh, stuff where you got motherboard, uh, yeah, yeah, RAM, yeah, yeah, and. Yeah, yeah, desktop. Right, right. It's not. It's, it's not a laptop. Uh, uh, yeah, desktop PC. Right, fine, fine. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, is your motherboard upgradable? I. Yeah. Can you pull uh, the next generation uh, SIM card? Uh, sorry, a uh, memory card. Uh, uh, sim um thing <clears throat> or can you can, are you able to upgrade the processing power get a, a a faster chipset i i don't think so this is a very it's it's not it's an old computer it's uh probably <clears throat> it's probably around the 2016 um time frame when it back you know yeah You you definitely milking it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I, I, you know what? You know what? You it, it's it's coming out. It's coming out fucking uh, dry powder, dry milk. I can't milk. believe. I can't believe that it's. Hey, Pio. I can't believe that it's actually still running. Oh, I got it. I got to stop that. Pio's here. Hello there. Uh, you're yes. breaking up, sir. Yeah, no, it should be better now. Uh, no. That's the way. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm trying to get. Oh, there you go. Yeah, we can hear you now. As... Uh, no, I can hear you now because you are breaking up. <laughs> so, uh, well, what you were talking up about? Breaking up is hard to do. So I just accomplished something difficult. No. Yes, I did. And... The song says, Breaking up is hard to do. And I broke up. With whom? My internet. With the majesty of God. Me that I'm breaking uh... up. I just said I was breaking up, and I said that breaking up is hard to do. So thank you for the compliment. Okay, okay, okay. I achieved something. But there is now there is a fucking annoying sound. It's I don't know. It's only on my place. Like I don't hear it. Do you hear it, uh, Oscar? No, he's saying that it is. It is in his place. Yeah, I can't. So hear we it. cannot hear it if he does it. No, well, we cannot hear it if he doesn't talk. Wait, That's the whole point. I will. I will just. Could be the uh, Russian air force coming, and then the that's the air raid siren for his area. <laughs> oh, I mean, he does live in Europe. Yeah, I live in Europe. Well, ish. you don't live in Europe. You live in a, on a fortified island. Yeah. True. 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 It's not like uh, anyone's coming over anytime soon to drop anything. Woe betide the the country who tries that. So, do you like Boris, by the way? Not really. Oh, okay. Okay. Not really. it was my place, and I don't know what what it was. But it's better. But I, yeah. So it wasn't me. I threatened my computer to shut down, and then it stopped. Ah! That's all. <laughs> you Germans are so efficient at that. I watch wonders. Kind of amazing. But... So, um, what I wanted to share with you mm -hmm. and with the world at large is that there we go okay so that's essentially 
what I have lined up that I was going to uh, do a reaction to today. Okay. Oh, it looks like Dar stalking. It is. Yeah. <laughs> It's Darth no, no, no. It's da Darth. people who absolutely decimate him. He uh, doesn't see it. He just doesn't see mm -hmm. it. It's uh, he's like he's like he's got some kind of illness where he, he can't see, he just can't see reason. Something's wrong with his brain. It's not wi wired correctly. Yeah. Then then play. I mean, it depends how old is it, right? Because there was a time when Dark Stalking was listening to other people. Yeah, this is and the time. there was a time. Sort of. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So this is back in 2016. Um, now, understand that going 2016 to 2022 is um, something like six years. And he's been living in his mother's basement since then. Or maybe before then, just so you know. So let's um, do it. Um, yeah, according to the information of not Sia, what was the other girl? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Hey, let's did move you on. see uh, number one's video on the on 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 the uh, on the lawsuits? The legal issues that, <laughs> that uh, <laughs> Gary had or has. He lost everything. He lost it. That's why he lives with mommy at 60 years old. At All 50, right. At 50 Correct. years old, he was living with mommy. So I wonder who cleans okay. his, his basement every day, every day or every week. Jesus does. <laughs> mm, probably prays for it hard enough. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I mean, him being old and, and everything, I think I have to feel sorry for, for the lady. Right? Lady? She must the love mother? this guy. Well, the mother. Yeah, yeah. the mother. She, she must feel so sorry for this guy. Like, uh, oh, my son is a loser. <laughs> right? And, uh, I don't think he's a loser. But shit, I think but I have to help issues. him because he's my son. He's, a man, he's got mental well, still, he's a No, fine, fine. Yeah, yeah but that, that's that's... That's probably the the catalyst, but the end result is that he's got this all all these issues, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, issues that you mean in in a, in the public, the public eye, yeah. right? Like, like things and whatnot that he has to retreat because probably he has to hide. That it is it is reasonable to assume that he's hiding from the authorities. It is reasonable. That's why he's very very. Um, um, uh, intentional in saying, "Oh, I don't give uh, my information away." Shut the well, fuck isn't up! It more, isn't right? It more yeah. reasonable it... to assume that he's so he's so destitute and so broken by his uh, his arrogance and what his narcissism has done to him. In other words, he's lost his house, his family, his career. He's gone bankrupt. He's uh, broken broken angry uh aggressive person who's using the cult of christianity to lash out at society yeah no yeah 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 yeah, yeah. but what is the catalyst i mean where where did it all started because for, uh, the first one i could find is 2007 is that when he started to fuck up well, no, because he's saying I've been I've been, I've been a priest. Yeah, not priest. Be, fuck it. Yeah. Must be at least that long. Yeah. Yeah, because he says that he's been uh, doing this bullshit for for ten years. Mm. So it, it must have been in between his issues, not before. <laughs> <laughs> so all yeah. the time when he all all have his his issues. Oh, yeah. yeah, but but let let's. Let's watch it and yes. let's comment it. All right. If you know, if you want to comment, yeah. uh, just um, let me know. Yeah. Finish screen. Yeah, please don't. Joe, just... Joe got bounced once before for trolling. He's trolling again. He's being oh. an asshole. Joe, yeah, please don't. Which is not surprising. Yeah, he hasn't done right. nothing yet. Let's do this minute. I don't want to keep Fox on the line here. Let's okay, go. good. Can you guys hear it? Yeah, I, I was just commenting like immediately from the start. 
oh, this guy is trolling me, and this guy is blah, blah, exactly. blah. Exactly, he does it all the time. Just, <laughs> yeah, just uh, even listen to the what he has to say. He's on my troll list, right? He has a <laughs> list, right? Where all the people... I've put a note on your are not. <laughs> yeah, so... so he has a list uh, where all the people are not allowed to talk, and yeah, this is what he's doing. Yeah, yeah but let's move on. All right. Okay. Now, when we when we, when we speak or define of God, we are oh, we are only speaking in an analogous way. We we cannot speak in I believe the word is what is it a unanimical way. So we can only speak in the by way of an analogy. So that poses no problem to God having a mind, because that does not necessarily entail that God's mind or thoughts have to be successive. It may be the case that within our uniform experience that our minds operate in a successive uh, uh, fashion. But what? he is attempting to smuggle in an inductive argument that the way we understand minds or the minds that we experience operate in a successive way would necessitate that God's mind would have to operate in a successive way, i.e. in terms of temporality. So basically he's making a veiled inductive argument which is not logically yeah. necessitated. Stop, stop, it. stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. That's all bullshit because this is the prime example. Right, mm -hmm. he is trying to say that we understand or make those arguments in such a nice way, and we are just humans, right? Mm -hmm. We cannot understand that, but in fact, he is the one who is saying because the way we understand it, what are what is given to us, mm -hmm. therefore, we cannot understand it. Well, what. Uh, I, I will again? try to say, say it once again. again. So, so people are saying, yeah. yeah, yeah, people are saying God cannot exist because of this and that. And his argument is, oh, we cannot understand God uh, because of this and that. And where is he getting his arguments from? From this book, which he can understand, right? Yes. And he. You know what I mean? So yeah, he's yeah. like like doing shit. He's claiming that people cannot understand what it is because he understands what it is because the book said so. Circular so. argument. And sure. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. okay, let's move on. Can we carry on? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, Fox, if you're there, you got a minute. Um, okay, good. Um, yeah, this, this again, this attempt to distract with the red herring of me making an inductive argument, I'm basically asking Dawkins to basically show how it is the case that you can have a mind that, and still be a mind, still still correlate with correlate with what we think a mind is, uh, which has thoughts which don't have succession, um, and how it is that you can have one thought, one thought changing uh, to another one, which in, which is a change, and, and this mind is supposedly also unchanging, which is an additional problem, um, and it still be a mind. Uh, it seems to be an inherent quality of thoughts. This seems to be what we mean by the definition of a thought is that, you know, it, it takes place in time, time. and that it changes, and, that, and what we mean by consciousness or a mind as a collection of thoughts is that it involves some kind of order or succession. Now, if, if you have moments, events, if thoughts are like events and they change from one thought to another, that to seems to be time by what Dawkins has just outlined as, as time to be. Um, so I'm, I'm not one minute, even I'm arguing from logical necessity, I'm just trying to point out that this idea is is incoherent and not particularly well evidenced or plausible or intuitive. All right, let's give him a minute to reply. Okay, what Fox is arguing for as incoherent is because what he's saying is our understanding of inductively, and he doesn't want to use the term, but that's exactly what he's doing. It. He's talking about the minds that he is acquainted with. Therefore, what he's concluding oh, shit. inductively 
that because of the all of the minds that we know of operate the same way, therefore all minds must operate that way. That's begging the question. All right? He can't he can't demonstrate that through an inductive process. The only way that he could do so would be to define it that way. And you see, that's very easy to dismantle and just say, I don't accept your 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 definition. As I said before, and it went right over his head, when we speak of God or we define God, we are doing so by means of analogy. Okay? We're not speaking uh, about God in a, I believe the term, as I said it before, in a unanimical way. So the bottom line is this, is I do not define time in the same way you do. I People define time as the order of events, mm -hmm. and events is, re, is referring to materiality. Is that, is that, so your is argument special, is an inductive stop it, stop one. It, yeah, stop, that, stop that ass. Right, before you reply, Fox, talking out of his fucking ass. I would like Sydney, to just say it. that, uh, at least from my perspective here, Remember? yeah, I feel like Fox is saying... Uh, no, stop it. How man. then I would have stopped it? No. See? But oh, still, okay. Uh, no, it stop. just takes, <laughs> it takes whatever to yeah. actually stop because of the. So, 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 okay. I, I, I will let the other guy f speak first uh, okay, before I. Yeah. Well, basically, basically what Darth talking is saying is that. Uh, the way you interpret the mind is different from my one. That's a special pleading, right? It's a my, the the way my God does it. It does it different than the rest of the fucking world, right? Now that's not fucking true. First of all, you have to prove that that's the case. So no, first of all, you have to prove that God exists. Second, that He's got a fucking external mind, and then it operates in a different way. He's got three fucking things to say, to do before asserting that our way of thinking is different than X. That's what I'm just going to say. Uh, so, first of all, now I've just... Um, so, this is beside the topic. i just seen that you have the same microphone stand that I have. And very nice. It doesn't work. So, uh, because the cable management is not working pretty cool. But, um, so, uh, what Dar's talking is saying there is very funny. Anything? I know, I know, I know. That's why I said. Uh, so, uh, what Dust Talking is saying. Mind, how, high, how they understand the mind. And now he's talking uh, in the Bible, it's. So. Because it's just a, a metaphor for something uh, which is not defined until now. It's just a metaphor, right? Uh, Even if he defines it, right? You know, he will I mean, never it, do it, that. It, it, he will never do that. That's the point. No, in some videos, he defines God as X, Y, Z. Right? Oh, in the in the in the in the newer videos, right? He says, "Oh, he's this, he's that." He's that. Oh, hold on, it's just. Trying to put attributes to a claim, no, to a claim, to a yeah, to a claim, right? And and assert it as as factual, right? Because every time every time he gets hit in the head with 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 his stupid argument, right? Either, every time we knock it down or people knock it down, he comes up with another bullshit. Uh, he's like a fucking tree. Right, he's trying to 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 go around to see if, if he can grab uh, another another stupid uh, yeah. uh, script. Um, yeah, he, he, and trying to he, bring it he down. He will go uh, to a topic he will call philosophy, right? And yes. Kind of try to to get it from there. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Like yeah, metaphysics yeah. or whatever. Yes. Right. Wow. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, but uh, he has no evidence for it. He will just say that the other guy is going by the <laughs> by the facts, which is good, and should he should do not that he should not go by the facts. He should go by some fairy tales, mm. and or he is not defining the stuff like he is defining it. He have a he has a different understanding of it, and therefore his understanding is correct. 
and the other guys understand it because because it's based on facts is wrong. That's funny. What we have to stop is for him stopping at his first sentence because he's defining a lot of things into existence, right? And if you let it go, if you, if you let it carry on, he can get away with it. I mean, it. at the end, literally, I, I didn't listen. In, so we didn't listen even even to the end. Of Cannot have logic thoughts um, uh, if you don't believe in God because the God is the foundation of logic. Right. Blah. Right. Co correct. Uh, at some point, he will. Claim right. That. Uh, and this is this is the most stupid. Uh, indeed. Shit. Correct. Uh, and precisely, precisely. Although this is old, right? I recently made a video about the line of work that I do. Yeah. Uh, ju just bearing that fucking basically i'm debunking his his logic bullshit saying that it can only come from god fuck you right that's that's bullshit right you don't need an external source to to have a skill set and do it well yeah, yeah. i i uh, i recommend that video because um he just no 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 it's not you like... don't... oscar just proved on that video that you don't need god for facts to exist right uh, yeah, and and the cheapest proof for that will be that before there was Abrahamic religion, we have mm -hmm. cultures, right? The Greeks, right, who thought about that without even knowing of the Abrahamic religion, and they were the foundation of all the logic we have now, not the Christian belief uh, <laughs> or any Abrahamic belief. Yeah, but let's move on, and Shall let's see on? if. Uh, if my hypothesis will be true. All right. Let's do it. You describe, I, I, yeah, I feel like we, Dawkins you that you're you are using uh, logic. talking about time, but I feel like yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Fox is talking about, okay, if he's outside of time, uh, how, how do you think, does how does he have these thoughts and screen. such? What the uh, I, 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 okay, my point is, I don't know if you were exactly uh, yeah, answering it's not this question. Sydney. No, he didn't. It's and can I, it's my time. It's my side, at least. You are not sharing your stream, and you are. I not... forgot. I know. I, I took off the script share screen because everybody was sort of roboting, and then when I replay this thing, uh, I forgot to reshare the screen. So uh, I've just proved to you that nobody is perfect, including me. And to respond no. um, again. I'm not arguing from induction. I'm arguing. Uh, well, my argument is that, um, you know, Dawkins talks about analogy. It seems to me that there's a fundamental disanalogy with what we mean by minds, right? Which is that they have temporal succession to temporal succession of thoughts. He says that time is an order of events. Okay. Well, thoughts are distinct, discrete states. You might call them events. It seems that they that a succession of thoughts would be a succession of events which would be temporal so in, in a way his his by his own definition of time it seems to be that if he wants to say that god has uh, timelessly a succession of thoughts that would invoke time it's incoherent now if he wants to say that god doesn't have thoughts now i would find that to be even worse because i mean thoughts it seem to be an inherent component of mind right um then maybe he could go down that direction, but he's not doing that. He's sticking to his guns and saying that God has thoughts. Somehow he has a succession of thoughts outside of time, um, but at the same time, time is a succession of events. Okay, so the yeah. events, Some events events are discrete um, states of affairs. Okay. Uh, thoughts are discrete states of affairs. Did you say okay. stop it? A series okay. of events is a discrete Fox, series that's of affairs. Okay, that's one minute. Okay, that's one minute. Uh, okay, okay, good. Okay, okay, let's let just stop reply. It, stop How about it. this? After I he did replies, stop it. then I'll just open you. it up for both of you. Just to give you an idea yeah, of how the long thing. the lag is. Yeah, or how again, long the... He's doing the same thing again. He's using an inductive... See? So, so okay, now it stops. Yeah, it takes uh, so like 20 seconds. Yes. Before, uh, once I press the stop button, it took 20 seconds before it actually gets the message to stop. 
Okay. So they are talking about how they can progress or whatever, like how 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 they are even factual, right? Right. So no, um, God cannot have thoughts according to his own definition to be omnipotent and timeless. He is just an observer. God so, is just an observer. Yeah. Uh, so I think I think I've got an analogy on how to put put that that concept right. Uh -huh. uh, I'm not saying that that's the case, right? But can you imagine, right? Can you imagine that uh, you got a videotape of a football match? Yeah. Right. And that is a piece of history of time, yeah. right? And you, you are God, you are the one holding that tape, right? In the sense of holding that time, right? And you know what happened at, at every moment, right? right? Uh, but but go, allegedly, if I'm, I'm, I'm not mistaken, it, he is in, the, in every single time of those times, but from outside, Right, so he can go to the he can go to the beginning of the of the match. He can go to the middle. He can go to the future, yeah, and be able to change it, yeah. right. And if that well, analogy um, makes, sorry, mm, I will not agree with that. No, I'm just a thought. I mean, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, if yeah. You, you made an analogy like with a tape, and I will take this analogy right as mm -hmm. the rebuttal, mm -hmm. right. So there's a game. You're watching the tape. Uh, it's already written, <laughs> and you can kind of reverse it, going forward, whatever. But you, as a god, you know the outcome. It can can nothing change about the outcome. So you're just playing with the new ones in yeah. between. Right? I understand. I understand. The, the outcome come it will be the same right whatever happens in between mm -hmm. right so this god knows the outcome yeah uh, i think i think i think because he's uh, i mean so so the theists are making uh, us believe that you have the free choice in between right you're making the choices the game is and god is the only one who can reverse the game or put forward the game and make some decisions. But the fact is that the outcome of the game, it's still the same. You know what and I mean? And already it's been played. Yes, and it's already been played. Because otherwise, that means if somebody prays during the game to change an event... My opinion is that the, the cassette tape is a linear tape and it cannot be changed. That's why there is no need for fucking praying. There's no need. The damage is done, basically, or, or, the, or the story has been set. Yeah, the, 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 the writer has, read, has written his book and he won't change it, right? And the characters, whatever the fuck they've done inside, it cannot be changed. So there's no free will, or it gives the illusion of free will because you made a decision at that time. But technically, it's not because he's already made the game. He's already he, he's already played it, right? And we are currently, according to whatever bullshit they say, the Christian is we are already in the game, right? We are already uh, chatting here. Yes, but uh, okay. So 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 you are referring to it like we have no free will. But my my. Uh statement is that God himself has no free will because he knows what will happen. So, so, so what you described, we can have new ones to decide this and do as like that, who get the red card or the green card or whatever, who be fought, whatever, then the outcome it is the same. But it plays on a higher level because God knows already that the outcome uh, will be the same. He cannot do anything about that. He can just sit down and watch. 
So he is not capable of changing it because if he will be able to change it, then yeah. the future I know, I know will going be to. uncertain, right? So oh. it's not only oh, only us who has no free right. will. Right. It's right. also God who has no free will. And if he is such a being, right, that he cannot be God, because God is described as the one who can decide everything else. But this, uh, because the descriptions of him are he is timeless or knowing or powerful and their con contradiction to each other, exactly because of the description, these descriptions, he cannot be God. And the mere fact that it says it's timeless, meaning that he's already at the end of the time mm -hmm. and at the beginning of the time. So, so no, no, it can't, it can't, it can't. It is, uh, by our logic, by our uh, frame, it is impossible, right? Unfortunately, unfortunately, what has happened is that people in the Bronze Age made a story at that time that was so fucking far-fetched that I said, oh, this is solid. This is solid. Right. No, I mean, I I will not say that those people are, were wrong. They were just, they didn't thought, or let's say, the philosophy was not advanced enough for those guys, right? So when somebody here is all powerful and out of time or timeless and all knowing, right, that sounded for them like they're real good arguments because they didn't thought that through or nobody right. like we today we today we thought or they are not not me myself right i just read some people who who went through this right and they easily disproved them because the advantage of time right so those guys in those bronze ages, when they created their god, they thought, oh, this is the one who should be, right? But didn't, they didn't have enough thoughts about that. So or, 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 or the limit of their thoughts. For example, they, they were in the fringes of what they thought it was capable of. Like what we do with the, with 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 the universe, we we think things that what could it be at that time. I, I mean, for example, um, the Big Bang theory, or what, or or um, theoretical physicists they say what could have happened before the Big Bang. That's our fringes, right? In a million years' time, the people over there will fucking ah oh, look, Oscar. It was talking about his fucking stupid thing, whereas it was some something else, like exactly what we're doing now about what they said in in Bronze Age. Yeah, That's, yeah. So, 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 so the difference is like we have now the advantage of generations who thought about this problem, or generations of philosophers, generations of scientists, whatever, right? who thought exactly about this problem and we found other solutions. Right. It doesn't mean that those Bronze Age guys were stupid or something. Right? No, the contrary. And, uh, they, could have, they could have been the wisest people at that time. That, that, exactly. Even better. No, even better. Because that means that were, that was the limit of their current understanding. Right, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. Yeah, yeah. So, so they were wise. They had yeah, the best yeah, intention, yeah. right? They were just, they didn't know what we know now. That's right. the point. Right, right. Right. But right. They, they, they weren't stupid or they were backwards. They tried their best to explain the world, right? They tried. So, this is what I will give the theists, right? So uh, if you go to the like, if you go to the Abrahamic religion, they tried their best to explain the world mm -hmm. and how mm -hmm. it should work in the best way, right? And that's what they did. Doesn't mean it's the best way today. At those times, it was the best way. 
but we should like look upon that and look at exactly at, at it. Uh, yes, those guys tried their best, but it isn't the best now. Okay. This is what I'm trying to say, right? No, no, I'm no, not... no. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you are absolutely, well, I can care 100, uh, 100%. Yeah, that, that's, that's what must probably happen. It's like us inventing uh, a concept of the Force, the Jedi Force. Right? Yeah. For us, that's the ultimate bloody hell people people that can that can use their mind because they're called jedi they can lift uh, spaceships or whatever right oh that's for us is the limit of our, our understanding it's just a theoretical right and we are in that time of frame probably in a, in a, in 2000 years time that may or may not be the case and it would be probably opposite right yeah um and that's it. Yeah, it's it's simple as that. Yeah. I mean, the problem the problem that the problem is that when they are fixing the the narrative and unable to modify it, that's yeah. that is that is religious downfall. Yeah, the problem is it's like no because because it's uh, I don't want to go that way. What well, Judaism is different to Christianity and Islam. But 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 um, the thing is that there are religious people who are thinking that time stopped and this is the best thing what we have and we should take the best thing of it and they think this is it, right? And this is what Christianity is doing and this is what Islam is doing. Of course, I have a uh, different opinion about this, uh, uh, Judaism, but yeah. So, so um, those are the theists. Mm -hmm. They are just stuck in their time, and they, at one point, they're all right. According to their knowledge, they were all right because there was everything they knew. It doesn't mean it's bad. Yes, it means it's wrong. But now it's old knowledge. There is yeah. for, for, for it, them, it, it for is them it, it's no place to adapt. That's the point. Correct. Exa precisely. That's what I said. Exactly. There is no point. There's no possibility of a 2.0 version of whatever uh, religion you picked, because that means that it, it is transient that means it can be it can be modified with time that it, that cannot be because you cannot start making uh, not make it you cannot start improving concepts all right which is for example precepts precepts does right uh, they they invent their own freaking christianity or their own uh, their own religion calvinists do exactly the same thing with the uh, uh, predestination right you know what I mean? If, if we adopt Calvinism, not even the precepts are in the case, right? I, I mean, it, and they are they are the nail in the coffin. For example, in my opinion, uh, Calvinist, the mere fact that some idiot said, "No, no, no," some of us are chosen, the rest are not, that throws out Adam and Eve concept, Noah's flood, the the, the whole shebang, right? Because it it, it renders it renders it. Uh, irrelevant, right? Um, because if, if you're gonna choose, if you're gonna, if, if a god chooses beforehand, any any event is irrelevant. Any. Um, yes. So I kind of like the Calvinist, if, even though I'm not theans. Uh, so I have to ask to like you give me yes or no. Mm -hmm. So aren't the Calvinists saying? that God is also the creator of bad stuff. It's like he's the creator of everything. Right, right. But they sugarcoat bad as his own will. So anything that he does is good. So there's no bad in there is no bad in a bad event because it was made for the for the, his own glory. So he's 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 a massive egoist. 
right? It is good. Yes, yes, but, but but the bad thing can be like uh, like you you look at it uh, from your own perspective mm -hmm. and like my family died, what whatever, right? But at the end, it was the good stuff. What I mean by that, so when usually, usually people may think bad stuff, they don't understand the way of God, <laughs> right? But what I mean by the covenants at least say you don't have a choice, right? And God is the creator of everything. He's the creator of good and bad. I'm, if I will be on the theist side, I will go with that. And this is, in fact, the background where I'm, where I'm coming from. I don't want to do it, but I have to do it. <laughs> I'm from the Jewish background, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, Jews also say, or at least uh, the school thoughts where I come from, uh, they say that can nothing happen without the knowledge of God, right? So God is the creator of everything. He is the creator of good and bad. <laughs> um, so, so everything what's happening in the universe and you like conceive it as a bad thing, it's also created by God. And, and the person who calls, who the Christians call Satan or the Muslims call Satan, you know, he just works for God. Yeah, that's another kind of worm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, and, I mean, uh, to think, to think, to think. Put, put it this way: I, imagine, imagine, right? This is the 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 stupidity. This this will be the equivalent. Let's see if I can I can uh, patch it up. This is the equivalent of my queen to put uh, Al Capone. In charge of jail. Oh, you have to. Do you understand what I mean, right? Because because Satan is the most evil thing in the world, right? But because yeah, it's, no, it's... no, 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 that is the thing. This is the thing. It's not the most evil thing in Judaism because Judaism is work for God, is working for God, and I thought we are talking about Calvinism. But where... anyway, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's still, it's still, we can go to the Judaism side of it. It's still the main man controlling uh, Al Capone. Yeah, the main man is controlling everything. So uh, Correct. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So he's culpable. It is his fault. Uh, yes, 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 of course it's his fault. Or, or, because... or, or even worse, the correct word it would be liable. He's liable for, uh, for uh, our wrongdoing. Yes, he's the one. Of course, of course. He wanted to. He was. Uh, he created like he. Uh, he created us like he wants it, us to be. Everything what's happening, he's the control over it. Let's say that. Yeah. He, now you got. Now, now you got. Now you got two issues here, right? Now has he created everything? But is he going with the wave? I, is is he the surfer, or has he already surfed, and? And he already knows the outcome. Like I said to you with the with the analogy of the football game, right, or whatever game of tennis or whatever, right? No, so no. in Judaism, uh, he he already he is the one. No, he is. Uh, and I'm not a theist. I'm I'm trying to say the point out. So I'm not. I'm now. I'm just playing the theist. Sure, sure, sure. Ro role player, right? right? So in Judaism, there is nothing what's happening without God's permission. No, but uh, does he know it? No, hold on. I understand no, no. that. He, he, he knows it and he is allowing it. It will mean, so what I mean by that, the good and the bad is happening because God wants it. Right, but correct me on, on, on this, on the concept of allowing. Allowing is currently right or did he did he is he allowing it or did he allow it uh so there is only like one example in the old testament uh where god 
does it and 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 I'm just referring to the Jewish scripture again. I'm sorry. Yeah, about that. the Torah. Yeah, right. And it's it's um it's a story of Job or whatever, where 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 the devil <laughs> makes the bet uh, with God. I can deceive people, or I can have more power. And God allows it to happen. And he kills like the whole family of him. And after that, <laughs> Job becomes the believer, right? And in fact, he, he allowed him to, to kill like, I don't think, two people. Everything else was happening in the Bible. Everything else. Is happening because God wants it. So in the whole history of the Bible, right, all the deaths are coming into account of God, and just two deaths are coming to account of the devil, right? But only because God allows him to do it. Like, yeah, yeah, but uh, what I'm getting, yeah, I understand, I understand the, that concept. Yeah, I, I, I can, I can visualize that, right? But there is a problem there, not in the concept of allowing or not allowing. It, um, there's a problem on that time. Is he, is he acting at when he did that? Was it at twelve o'clock, or what, or was he already in the future, or, or is he in in all time? I, is he, is he? Is it spread in time, like yeah. a fucking like uh, a fucking sausage? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, and you are asking the correct questions, right? Of course, it's I like... fucking ask. You. Of course, I am asking the correct questions. <laughs> what the it's fuck? Like yeah, of course. He, he didn't know, right? What will happen, right? Of course, right? Of course, because you cannot, you cannot, because there's there's two there's two major issues, right? Either he knows at that time, which is a contradiction, because that means he doesn't know the future. Right, yeah. I ride in the wave. Right, is he riding the wave, or he has already ridden the wave? Uh, but but he knows what happened. If he knows what happened, that cannot ha that cannot uh, rehappen. I uh, um, nobody can change his mind. So basically, he's the writer of the book. Yeah, he's 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 a uh, yeah talking, and he's made the laws of the ring. That the, the story has been written. Okay, right? okay. So, so so the answer to that, mm -hmm. and let me uh, will be that. He knew uh, the Satan, whatever, or the devil who asking for him that. And he already knew that he would decide it like that. Right. And let, let him <laughs> to make this choice. Or let him think he'll be free to make this choice. But at the end of it, he was the one who decided to kill the family of Job. Right, yeah, that's the thing. What I'm telling, yes, uh, but that if, you need to be, but for, for that to happen, he needs to be in the future. Uh, he needs to know, he needs to know the end, of course. And he knew the end, that's why I'm saying that the source of the bad thing this is what I'm trying to say. Not, mm. I'm, I'm not trying to say, um, that he did know or whatever. I'm just trying to say that the source of evil and the good is God. Not nobody else. Well, we this can easily say that it. he's the architect of everything. Yes. Well, and, if, that. If, and if some other religions are claiming that we have free will All and we, we can decide, then they are wrong. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If no, if we be, if you be, if if we believe in this concept of this Abrahamic God, right? yeah. uh, because... uh, look, for example, the Abrahamic God, you already got too many too many baggages, too many uh, rotten apples, or the story is fucked up somewhere, right? And then and then there are a couple a couple of people, right, that squeezed the Abrahamic and made it Christianity. Right. Yes. It, it, it yes. is. It is. It is a robbery. 
right? It, it's stealing, it's stealing, it's, uh, cherry picking the good and the bad, right? Um, and to say, and listen, there you go. And, and the extraction of the, of the free choice, that's what they do. They, they're just pretending uh, that we have free choice, that somebody did something wrong. No, everything happened. So if if you go with the um, first Abrahamic God, right? He's and he's the controller of everything, every atom, every movement. So it cannot be that something is happening without his control. So all this stupid thinking or the claims that oh we have free will. That's why uh, we can choose between right and wrong. What the Christian is saying, telling us, not really, because they will tell you, you have to choose this one. And if you don't choose this one, you'll be not saved, right? So you don't have free will, <laughs> right? But this is what they are saying. They are selling us the free will. Um, and they are saying, yeah, because of that, because we have free will, if God exists, um, then we can go, so we have a choice. No. The thing is, if you go with Judaism, um, yeah, according to them, you don't have free will because everything happening on behalf of God. Which, which, is, which is the the um, the spin of the Calvinist. Everything is being set. All right, already. right, right, right. 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 That's, that's how we started the, the call, call conversation. And, and in fact, that's the funny stuff. Like in Judaism, you'll be not, if the judgment day comes, you'll be not judged upon your belief. You don't need to believe in the Jewish God, you don't believe in, you don't have to believe in <laughs> Jesus Christ or Muhammad, whatever, right? Um, you'll be judged upon your good deeds. So, so the main thought of the Jewish belief, and I'm of course talking, and I'm not a theist, I'm just, fuck, I didn't want to go there. But this is what I've learned, right? So, so the sources what I've learned, right, are telling me, try to be the righteous man, no matter what you believe. Try to be a good one, right? If there will be judgment day, you'll be not judged upon your belief. It will be judged, you'll be judged upon your good deeds. Your actions, yes. Yeah. And this is kind of philosophy. That's why I'm saying it's so different to Christianity and Islam because in Islam and Christianity you have to believe in this particular God and if you don't you are you'll be bur you you burn in hell in Judaism you are not nobody gives a shit about that because hell doesn't even exist in Judaism right uh, so uh, and 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 then I will try to go now now to get the 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 circle back when I when I'm telling you the inventors of the Jewish belief they were good at their time they thought the best how to be the good man and what they did they invented all the story of Abraham and all this bullshit right uh, what they tried to do. Um, to uh, make a philosophy, how could you be a good man? That's what was the purpose of it. And all the other religions, I um, meant <laughs> Christianity and Islam, they just perverted it and make it backwards to something you have to believe, you have to do. You have to I think it. I think I think what Paul did, what Paul we're talking about hypothetical if the idiot existed, right? But I think what what he did because he was a Pharisee, right? So he knew the 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 Jewish way, right, very well. Okay, now 
if you know how your system works and you want to convince a uh, new people on doing it in a different way you have to show the bad things right it says listen judaism has got a couple of things that are bad and in this new religion or in the new this new way of thinking uh, i will uh, you don't have to do that i'll give you an example and actually paul well the writer of paul said it you don't have to circumcise right you don't have to uh, take take festivity uh, 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 sorry fasting right if if i'm a jew that sounds good that's a good deal right well fucking hell Christ, not christianity because they were not even called christian is it the new religion or the new sect you don't need to do that no oh wicked i change right oh, oh but it, it, it's a baggage you have to obey because otherwise you go to hell i oh, don't worry about it i can behave i don't want i don't want my son's uh, thing to be a cat yeah and i love my food so i want to eat don't worry sign me up um it's a good deal yes uh so i i will tell you that um this idea of not doing stuff which are written in the torah 613 laws or whatever yeah not obeying them it's already implemented in the jewish religion because in the jewish religion and of course, um, again, I have to point it out because it's very important. Because if I would talk to Orthodox Jews, they would tell me I'm a liar. Okay. Um, so according to my teachings, um, uh, God left the building after Noah's flood. Okay. Uh, and the, the reason for it, or the teachings of, uh, for it, are the responsibility for what's happening on earth and if you follow those 630 command 13 commandments in the torah it's up to you and uh, if you will look up the history um the rabbis and all the jewish people are continuously debating about this stuff and there are rabbis who are saying not only rabbis, like the Jewish law is changing all over, all over time because people are arguing about that. Right, right. So, 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 so they are saying like this stupid commandment, you have to stone your child to death. Because right, I had that, it, yeah. It, it disobeyed them, right? Mm -hmm. Find me one Jewish family who did it, right? You will not find it, right? Because at some point, it was people who discussed it about that and said, oh, this is a stupid commandment, right? So, so there are 630 commandments, and the Jewish, uh, Jewish religion is talking about that. Uh, so what I'm, what I'm just saying, that they are discussing uh, if those laws are valid, and according to the biblical story, God left the building, right? He's not here. <laughs> He's not observing us. He's not controlling us. He was angry as us and said, fuck you, I will leave. I don't care about you now, right? And he left the responsibility to us. So we have to do stuff. We have to... Like if, if somebody is dying in the in Africa of diarrhea, right? It's not God's fault. It's our fault because we didn't do anything about it. And it's exactly the same about the laws in the Torah. We have to discuss them over and over and over, and there'll be different opinions about that. But at the end, we will move forward. And of course, the worst Jewish law is the circumcision. We, if you, we could get rid out of that, oh, Judaism would be nice philosophy, right? Uh, but no, no, the, new, the, new, the new sect, the new religion would be good because, because my, my future sons do not need to go into that uh, type of uh, uh, injury. So yeah, yeah, they, but, they, but, they, they look, they're looking at, at the at the uh, at the next generation. 
uh, the thing is uh, that the circumcision is still uh, uh, a requirement like uh, within the Jewish religion until now, right? But everything else, right? Like the stoning your children to death or uh, you have to believe in whatever, right? Everything else but the circumcision, they are discussing. Through centuries, they are doing it. So it's not like, like it's written in stone and you have to follow it. It's a kind of thing you have to discuss. That's the difference to Christianity and Islam, when it's written in stone. This is what I'm saying. Judaism is not... Uh, not only <laughs> not only a religion is a philosophy uh, that you have yeah but if you if you change if you change the law you're changing uh, allegedly God's law right no we are not changing it uh, um, so there are the laws okay maybe you you said the right thing and um, but the thing is there are those laws which are written like God written them right yeah to the torah yeah, yeah that's what we're talking about yeah 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 he wrote right. that that god wrote them right but but according to the story guys i have to be afk for a bit i'm taking my dog out for yeah. uh, pp pee -pee. yeah so 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 uh, uh, the jewish religion works like that there are those laws and they are written but you can discuss about them. You can you can like have an opinion about them because and it's not because we are we we are better than what the gods. No, because God gave us the possibility to do that. I'm try I'm trying to say in the story because oh, fuck, it's so difficult. The Jewish no, no, I, no, I, I understand what you, I understand what you say. They, 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 they sort of bend the rules to to suit the the uh, the time, right? For example, yes, uh, yes, to yes, choose yes. choose choose rule six ten. I don't give a shit which rule it is, right? But six ten is no. Listen, 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 listen. Uh, uh, let's get everybody here. This six ten uh, uh, rule uh, six hundred and ten is taking the piss, right? We need something to do, right? Instead of doing a Saturday at 12 o'clock, can we do it Saturday at 6 o'clock? Because it's affecting our system of work, our system of whatever, right? And they get together. They're not violating the rule. They're just changing it a bit. They're, they're tweaking it, right? Or, or they're shifting the, the parameters of the same rule. Right? No, no, uh, no, 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 no. They're not only shifting it. They're discussing it. If they are able to do to discuss it if this is valid or not for sure i just give so, you an example no 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 i understand you know, Let, you, let's you, say you, the rule you, just say, you, you are just saying like it oh let's oh let's do it like it's still not valid. it's still valid but be, if you do it like this right mm -hmm. no that's not the point the point is you are in the school of thoughts you are allowed to like really dismiss it if you have enough arguments against it because and the because is because God gave us the responsibility. So he is not responsible anymore. He wrote the like the code, right? And we are now the one who is who are responsible. So we can discuss every thing which is in there in the 613 uh, laws and we can decide it's not like we just do oh this is bullshit this is bullshit this is bullshit no no we thought everything is like 100 percent correct but over time uh, we are seeing oh this is wrong or this is wrong and this m must be modified not because we are the best, because God gave us the allowance for doing it. 
And if you think about it like a story, right? Like a story. At some point, we have this and this knowledge, right? And now we're progressing. And the Judaism is capable of adapt to a new things and make new decisions. And we are responsible. We are not relying or not only yeah responsible means we we have to take actions we are not just talking stuff we're changing stuff we have to do we are responsible not god no sure That's sure, sure. I, I, I give you an, i give you i give you a quick analogy of, of what you just said yeah i understand That's like saying i invented chess i gave you the 15 or 20 rules Right, and you have to play it. What I cannot allow you to do is get rid of the game of chess, but you can change. You can change the the parameters of the game or the parameters of the of of the yeah of the game of chess, right? I, and I allow you to change it, uh, whoever the the authority is at that time, uh, to suit the needs of, of of the time or the society or whatever it was happening, right? That's basically in a nutshell what it is. Is that I made the rules, you can change it. If if it's thought out for that time, if it's beneficial for that time, right? It, it, however, however, it's been thought uh, thought out. Um, I because I'm thinking of it, um, because I'm thinking like when you because you when you make your analogies, it's like for me, it's like the um game of chess. It's for me, it's. <laughs> You are not allowed to change the game of chess, right? This... That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what um... I'm saying. But, but you can say instead of the instead of the the, the uh, uh, what you call it the knight to move two forward and one left, he can do it every two or three times. But he still makes the move. But but due to the situation that we are now, we need to do some changes, right? But we still obey the law, but. In a in a different way, right? Or it could be a sort of a societal behavior. It doesn't matter. Let's not talk about gaming. One of the rules could be fasting or or wearing different clothes, right? Yeah, there might be a trade coming coming from another another country and say, look, we got these new products, right? I say, bloody hell, that's cheaper than than the other, the, the people we normally get it from. Right, but it's very close to something that we are prohibited to to wear or to use or whatever. Right, so the elders get together. They go, listen, we got a situation here. Right, we got to need this product for. It's good for our society at that at this time and the future, ten or fifteen years ahead. Uh, but our law six zero six it prohibits us to do this. Can we do something about it? Yeah, let's get a round table here and sort it out. Right, that's basically in a nutshell what what you are saying right that uh, uh, the jewish people or the jewish leader leaders whoever that might be right are able to change the rules of the game uh, they're not canceling the game they're changing the rules of the game to to suit a particular uh, uh societal time am i getting close mm, you're close mm -hmm. uh, so so I I will describe it like that because <laughs> yeah uh, I don't know what my what my why I'm hesitating to agree to you. Um, no, I'm 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 going I'm going by your your uh, no, your no, it's, ex it's your like expertise. It's... You understand? I, I have yeah. got zero clue. I'm just I'm just I'm just using an example to fit what you're saying. No, it's like. Um, okay, so let's go with the play game of chess. Whatever, yeah, sure. Uh, so there are rules in the game of chess, and they are there. And um, and we know that the game cannot be played without them. But suddenly, the ruler, <laughs> like like the chess, is the is is a school of thoughts. So do the best. Um... No, 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 no. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. 
but you're mixing something and you're complicating it. You're putting, you're putting mud in a glass of water, right? Forget about philosophy, right? We're talking about a requirement. For example, I know I play chess as a hobbyist, right? Mm. I know that the first movement, you can move two, two boxes. Yeah. Right? Let's say, because the talk in itself, you can call it philosophy or school of thought. It doesn't matter. The, 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 the narrative here is that we need to talk about the actual movement. We have to decide to move two or decide to make only one within the rules, right? You're not violating the rules. Well, right, you're changing the rule to say instead of moving the first the first piece, allow to move two or one. We're going to say we're just going to need to move one, period, right? No, you can no call... the, the, the fact is the allowness to make a totally different move after you discussed it. So this is what yes. I'm saying. Yes. There, there, there are rules which are set. Those mm -hmm. rules are set in a particular time period or in a particular time where God was like with us at, at here and he was actively watching us. But at some, at some point he left and he says, fuck you. <laughs> you no, 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 was, I, I'm with you. I, I'm, no, I'm with you. No, I'm with you. Because, the, because the Jewish God is not, it's not like the other guys, right? He is angry. He is impulsive. He is whatever vengeance. Yeah. He's not. He's got, he's got management issues. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, it, and at some point, he just left the building. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. He just said, uh, I don't know if it's possible because it, it will not describe him as a omnipresent god for example right <laughs> because he left but and and because it's a story Judaism is a story yeah right? that's what i'm saying it's a school of thoughts not <clears throat> real religion um so no, well, hold on hold on hold on if if somebody powerful reads the uh, writes the instructions it is a doctrine therefore a religion right? yes Somebody, well, somebody well, wrote it down. Somebody wrote it down. No, no, the main man wrote it down. Right? The the, yeah, God, God, the main man, the, the, the all powerful, yeah, the guy in the sky, whoever, the, the one with the white beard, right, wrote X amount of uh, uh, laws or said to the people in the ground, hey, I want you to do 613 things for me. Sorry, <sighs> I want you to behave in a way whereby I'm giving you 613 uh, rules, commandments, orders, or whatever. Right? Oh, oh no. In, no. In, in day one. It's very difficult. Because, no, it's, as you know... It's freaking, it's freaking crystal clear. Because if, if, the, if, the, if, the, if the Jewish people, bless them, have got 613 rules, it must have been a time when that was given. Yeah, unless it, 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 it's right? written in Torah, but but Indeed. if you go, but if you go with history, right? The Jews are just a sect of Kikonite belief, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. at some point they decided to worship Yahweh as the Creator God, uh, and Yahweh was a part of a pantheons of the Kikonite. He wasn't even the creator god. He was just one of the four sub-gods of the Kenite belief, right? So it's a fucking small village which some were decided to worship Yahweh, right? And they wrote down the book. And they were, this book was written, I would say, not by some... Uh, really believers or let's say wrote down by people who are living in this small fucking village and they do the best they can and they wrote the story nothing of that is true right there was no Abraham or there was no Exodus uh, whatever right but they still wrote it down right just because they wanted to, and it's a good story to believe, especially when you when you when people are gullible, 
o gullible o slash ignorant. It doesn't matter how, what, what you Okay, think. okay. I, yeah. I'll give you I, I'll give you another example. Let, imagine you read the, the story of uh, you will read the story of Red Riding Hood. Right. Yes. Yes. I'm acquainted uh, with her. Yeah. It's a it's a it's a fairy tale, right? Indeed. So, but you still can learn from something from that. Um, I cannot tell you what now, but for sure, uh, like don't trust a wolf you you meet in the woods and something like that, right? So this is how I view the Old Testament. So those people wrote down stories which are not even true to teach you to be a good or bad man. They included in this story a key uh, and the key was when God left this planet to give you like yeah, there was a because they didn't know how the universe came to existence, right? Right. So, right. So, so they wrote some stuff. How yeah. could it be, right? Yeah. There was a willpower being, blah blah blah, mm -hmm. right? But you still have to learn how to behave, right? So that's why in Judaism, at some point, there is no God watching you and deciding. You have to do it. You have to get responsible. That's this is this is the teaching of the Jewish religion. Not the uh, you have to believe in God, whatever, right? No, the responsibility. Take responsibility for your actions. Be a righteous man, no matter what you, what you're believing in, in which God, whatever. You be not judged upon this. This is a story. Blah blah blah, and the story itself is capable of adapting the knowledge what is happening right now right so um yeah you have to be human you have to be righteous doesn't mean that you have to believe in yahweh doesn't mean that you are bad because you are muslim whatever doesn't count be a righteous man, whatever it means. And back then, when they wrote this book, they made the 613 laws, but they made it possible to throw them out of the window. Right? You are not bound to follow them. You can discuss them. And in fact, this is happening through Judaism. That's why I'm not following this. There is no, even the most believer, orthodox believe, Jew believer, who is following all these rules. There is none, because people are discussing, and some rabbinate, blah, 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 says, no, we are not following this rule anymore. The worst rule, the rule of circumcision, is not banned, but I'm sure it will be. <laughs> right. Oh no, no, no! Yeah, yeah, but what I'm saying about about the the extension of of uh, Christianity, although it wasn't called that at that time, right? For example, Paul said, she, "Right, I want, I want my new, my new people, my new uh, uh, brotherhood." Right. So he was quite intelligent, allegedly, so, and he, so... he and he knew the, the Jewish law. Right, so he only has to say, "Don't do six hundred ten of those six hundred, or of those six hundred ten of those six hundred thirteen uh, rules or, or laws." It, that is very appetizing, right? It's basically similar to what you're saying now with the Jewish people. The, some of them are not are not uh, are not um, obeying the six hundred thirteen right now because it's fucking stupid to do that. Because uh, otherwise, you're gonna run out run out of sons. You're gonna run out of children. Right? Who, what, what children is not is not rebel at any given time in his life? Really? Um, yeah. It will be one generation, and, and you're gonna you're gonna be extinct. The Jewish people are gonna be extinct in one generation. But they still didn't, right? <laughs> Since six thousand years. But that's not the point. 
No, but what I'm saying is they're not, they're, not, they're not doing it. They're not doing it, correct? I, I'm agreeing with you that some of the laws are not adhered. They're not, they're not uh, complying with it. Yeah. And uh, that's a funny point, right? If I'm, I'm talking to the most orthodox Jews there in the neighborhood, and they're not following the laws. So, because you could expect, oh, I'm, I'm meeting an orthodox Jew. Oh, then he should follow all these rules. No, they're not doing it. And they, of course, will find excuses why they are not doing it. And they will tell you that it's the most, because the, the highest rabbinate or whatever, right, uh, the highest organization decided it, then they will follow it, right? But if, in fact, even they are the most stupid, I'm not so stupid, it was the wrong word, right? But if they are most orthodox and even the true God believers, they will not follow all the rules and they will have an excuse for it. And in fact, it will show you that even those guys who should believe in the 613 laws are not following that for a reason. And well, it, society, society, society drives it, drives the rules. You can have a, you can have one rabbi, right? That says, "Nope, I want my 13, want my six hundred thirteen rules." Yeah, and and you got you got a congregation of people saying, "No, fuck you, we are not going to do that." Okay. But it's possible. The thing is, what you're saying, that's possible in Jewish religion because you have two Jews. That that's two Jews are arguing with each other, and there are three different opinions. Right. That's a Jewish joke, right? <laughs> and this is how that, that that's that's this is how Judaism works, right? But if you go to uh, Christianity, right, you have to believe in Jesus. If you don't do, it doesn't matter if you're a righteous man, you been you go you you did the the best thing through your life, right? You'll go to hell. And if you are, if you go to Islam, right? If you don't say that Muhammad was the last uh, prophet. prophet, prophet, right? You will go to hell too, right? And Judaism is not necessary. You can be Cor uh, correct because 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 they are extensions of Judaism, right? They 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 no, no. they bor they borrowing from it and changing the rules of the game. No, no, it, you can be also as an Aztec priest. You can believe in Buddha. You can believe. In... Well, I mean, I'm talking about I'm talking about the uh, uh, Judaism and Islam and Christianity, right? They, yes. they, they were they were they were pulled apart, right? And to convince to have more congregation, it says, okay, you're not going to do X, Y, Z, right? But the price for that is that you have to believe in this man, or or I one of the two prophets. It doesn't matter what we were talking about, either Islam or Christianity. He says, look, you know what? You don't need to do these things, which is good, right? But, the, the, but believe in this or else is damnation or death or whatever. Yeah, but, but and the thing is, in Judaism, uh, you'll be not... Um, maybe I'm reading myself. Uh, it doesn't matter what you believe in. It. So only your good deeds count. Right. No, I know, uh, I know, I, I get it, I get it. But Paul, right, already a Jew, convert to convert convert into another religion. It was yeah, not he was he on was drugs. Not, he saw fine, Jesus. fine, no, 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 fine. But but he he needs to convince people to go to the dark side, right? And he needs to know what what is wrong with the with the place that he needs to change. Right, so it stands to reason that he will say, "You know what? There's 10, 10, 15, 600 things that I don't want you to do. Come with me." And the Jew will say, "Yeah, makes sense. Where do I sign?" <laughs> yes. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. You know, let's go for the jugular. Yeah, let's go for the neck. Right. He's a salesperson, and he's a good salesperson. Right. He's got. He's got a package deal. Right, that is very, very tempting. Right, don't do this. Sorry, I would not stop you doing this. 
i.e. you gain what you have been restricted f f throughout centuries, my system, you don't do have to do that shit. And I'm repeating myself. Right? Yeah. But I'm, I'm being a little bit sarcastic. I'm putting a spin on it. Right? Mm. I fucking hell. Yeah, it sounds good. What do I, I, ooh, but it comes with baggages. Right? Your, your way was bad, but this is better, but... Yeah, we do have a main man, and we have his uh, son here that he has done some business here in in planet in planet Earth, and you have to follow him because he's too sexy for us, right? <laughs> and and the price if you don't follow him, we we give you free free stuff, but you have to follow him. If you don't follow him, you lose the free stuff, and and then you burn in hell. That's the package deal, mm. right? Yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah, I'll deal with it. So I don't have to cut my I don't have to cut my my next son. Nah, I don't worry about that. Oh, can I can I do I have to fight? Nah, fuck that. No problem. And whatever else in the package, yeah, yeah, right. And whatever. Yeah, Listen, but, but, you too, that 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 deal is too good. That deal is too good for to say no. I and they may even say fuck it. I I I'll pray for that guy. I, I'll do whatever because it is a good deal from the point of view of a Jew. Right. Um, yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. If you got, if you, it doesn't matter what it is. If you got for, for fucking three hundred, sorry, six hundred. Let's go round number. If you got six hundred rules that you have to obey, and I give you zero rules, what would you do? Oh, that would be a nice thing. So well, fucking it. right, it's gonna be <laughs> nice. Of course, it's gonna be nice. That's the whole fucking point I'm getting at from the beginning. Right, yeah, yeah and Paul, but, but, and Paul but, but, did that, it was a good salesman, not really, not really. Because, uh, from Paul's perspective, you have to believe in Jesus, unless you are, yes, yeah, that, that's the deal, that's the deal, that's what I'm getting at, that's part of the package deal. And I don't care if I'm a Jew at that time, I said, Yeah, fuck it, yeah, I'm not Jewish anymore. Do I have to believe in that idiot? Yeah, for sure, I believe in him, right. Yeah, but but they are selling it, uh, right? And no, no. The thing is, like they Christians invented the hell stuff, right? Didn't exist in the Old Testament. Uh, yeah, so but the, the only yeah the, the, yeah, but the only deal, the only deal, to 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 avoid hell, is believing in that asshole Jesus Christ. Do you understand? Right, minus six hundred things to, that you don't have to do. It's a big freaking deal. Um, if I'm a Jew, I, I'm, I'm oh, convinced. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I have you to tell you another stuff which I didn't tell you before. That's so, naughty. Uh, so, <laughs> in, in, in Judaism, um, there is no difference between a guy who is following the 6 out of 13 commandments and the one who is following only one commandment. You don't get bonus points for doing the more stuff. Um, so let's say like me, who is an atheist, right? And okay. in fact, if I will, I will look at the Bible, I'm following more than 10 commandments, which are written at Torah, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm a perfect Jew According to Judaism. Okay, okay, I buy that. Yeah, it makes so, sense. So uh, let's say I never killed anybody. Yeah. So this be just one thing, right? You should not kill. I never kill. Yeah. Right? Yeah. One. So you who, uh, but you get no. There is no difference between somebody who is following all the stuff and just one. Because the the uh, they already discussed it in Judaism, right? So let's imagine somebody is for uh, following six thousand and twelve commandments and the six hundred and thirteen. Who is better? Hmm, nobody is better. And they rule it down like going six hundred eleven <laughs> according to six hundred thirteen. Hmm, no difference. And they rule it down. And they said, in the end, at the end, uh, if you're just following one, uh, you are not worse than the one who's following the 613. 
Yeah, that, that, but that, fine. But that would be the end of uh, Judaism or the or the old practice because they say, why the fuck should I do 611 when they're doing a 1 or 612? Because yeah. One is good enough. yeah, 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 you're right about that. Why? And, uh, and if, you, if you look at Judaism, there were like oh, oh, always 17 million people, right? They are not never more than that. And in this 17 million people, you have more than a half secular Jews. And there's only a small percentage of them who are really crazy Orthodox guys, right? Who yeah, believe in that cases. Yeah. They believe the story. So in Judaism, um, those are the ones that, that wear their pretty hats, yeah? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Hats. yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. no, the, <laughs> what? No, no. That the, those, <laughs> those are the, those are the those are the Bulgarian Jews. That's the funny stuff. Like in the thirteen hundreds, God decided how a Jew look like, have to look like, and uh, this is the fashion what the Bulgarian or the in this place in this area Jews look like, and they are from thirteen hundreds. Like they have to wear those hats, like, yeah. Didn't no, the hats? Yeah, didn't the hats signify different hats, different sects, or different rab the different followers of yeah. different rabbis or whatnot? Yeah, yeah. But but today, when people are thinking of Jews, they are thinking black hats, the pious, yeah, and uh, whatever, right? Those are the Bulgarian Jews from thirteen hundreds. Those are not the Jews who Original. are living. Yeah. You know what I think is uh, it's quite amazing is that back in the, I don't know, 1800s, when the, the Russian Cossacks were uh, raiding and were, do, were performing pogroms on Jewish settlements and ghettos. Remember that in part of Russian history? The Cossacks attacking yeah. the Jews? Pogroms. Well, it turns out that the Cossacks... That the Russians were using to attack the Jews, the Have Cossacks, <laughs> the Co no, the Cossacks all, <laughs> all are found in Ukraine. So the Cossacks were attacking the Jew Jewish communities back in eighteen sixty or seventy, whatever, and now the Russians are attacking the Cossacks in Ukraine, and everybody's. Uh, coming out in support are you, are you telling me, of the Cossacks. Are Russia is working for, for Israel now? Russia is working <laughs> to eliminate the Cossacks who, who are mortal enemies of the Jews. Yeah. You see how you can twist history around any, or twist facts around any way you want? Uh -huh. I, I have to go to the fridge. I'll be back in two minutes. Your fridge is running oh, away. He doesn't want to see. No, 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 no. He sounded like Terminator. Watch that. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome and say hello to Alpha. Been kind of quiet for about seven hours there. Yeah, but I've been, I've been so fucking rude and not letting everybody uh, talk. It's fucking disgusting. No, oh, you're... God. No, 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 not at all. I, I it was a very, very interesting discussion, and I was like happy just to sit in the background and listen to you two, uh, you know, talk about this stuff. So rumble, rumble. No, I, 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 I figured as much, uh, Alpha, but I uh, just felt that I needed to acknowledge your presence. Oh, I appreciate that. There were a couple of times I wanted to jump in, but there was a flow going between, you know, Pio and Oscar that, uh, you know, you you just, you didn't want to mess with. Was... No, no, you, you, you want to let it ride. <laughs> no, it's good. Exactly. I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there are very few hangouts where flows get going without being interrupted. And so yes. you made a good ju good judgment call there. Didn't want to be a buzzkill. I I was I was waiting for a pause to jump in, but you know, it was it was just you know it was very intense. And uh, <laughs> but you know, the the concept that Pio is describing this this um uh the 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 Torah God is it's something that I don't know as much about. So you know mm -hmm. he was like, 
Um, no, he's spot on. He's spot on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I know, I, just I know the Jewish my, God my, as well. Yeah, my my God, I love fuck all. Right. I'm well, I I, yeah. I came from the same sort of background as as uh, Pio. In fact, yeah. uh, much more so because it, you know I was part of the community from birth, whereas he was um, shielded from the community. Um, because of the threat of of communism in, in Poland, where he's from, he, he he'll oh, tell you the story one day. It's it's extremely uh, extremely interesting. What's what was one? your take? What 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 you were? What were you want? What do you wanted to say or to add? Not to say oh, one thing. One thing that Jesus said was that um, uh, that that uh, there was there was no removal of the old Hebraic law. That right. Yeah. The Ten Commandments was just a fucking Cliff's Notes version of the rules. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It was mm -hmm. supposed to be, uh, the, the 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 short version you print on a business card. You you know you keep in your back pocket. And, you know for for those those people who are too dumb to remember 10 rules, you know, <laughs> I, I think that, you know, um, but Jesus said, you know, said in the scriptures uh, that he, that there, that, that, that there is not one jot nor tittle of, of the old law that is removed from his covenant, that it's, it's all supposed to be in there. So uh, I think it's, I think it's a matter of biblical interpretation, right? Whether they really did throw out all of those old Hebraic laws or the various sects of Christianity. I've got a question. I've got a question, okay, Alpha. Sure. If Jesus said, uphold all the laws, then who has the authority to over to veto Jesus on the laws of circumcision? Who has the authority did he to say to um, a Christian that the they do not have to be circumcised because uh, that's in the old law. When Jesus said he he's not, he, you know, everything still Jesus, counts. Everything's on the table still. Jesus was a fucking hypocrite. He had no authority. He no said authority, out of one side. Exactly. Uh, he said out of one side of his mouth. You know what I mean? I'm coming and bringing a new covenant. He said on the other side of his mouth, you do not ignore one shot nor tittle of the old law. What the fuck? You know, what was he doing? What was his purpose there? If he was just to bring a Cliff's Notes version but and say, it, oh, it, church, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to come up with 10 things, oh, 10 oh. things hate about people, fucking people. I fucking hate it when they lie. I fucking hate it when they, you know, uh, uh, covet their neighbor's wife or their cow or you know what I mean? It's just this love, you know. I fucking hate it, you know. Could it could it be this? I mean, I'm open to fucking being bollocking, right? Because as far as I'm concerned, this geezer never wrote a fucking thing, right? So it is a couple of Didn't people that wrote. Sorry. What real? He's a fucking mythical character. There's that's what I'm no... saying. No, that, that's what I'm saying. So so therefore, therefore, whatever is written. It, it, whatever contradiction it is the contradiction between two people that do not have the fucking uh, brain fart to, to get together to say listen let's get our shit together right uh, because it was written 10 or 15 years time from different people from different anonymous people that's why the fuck up is right that's why well, the, that's why you got contradiction okay uh, I look at it almost like filmmaking okay in filmmaking mm -hmm. you have you, 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 your, your goal is to tell the perfect story, you know what I mean? Following the timeline, don't confuse your audience, etc. right? But even in the best films, they'll have continuity errors. They'll have goops. They'll have fuck-ups. And it doesn't matter that there were 136 people over the top of this production, reading every line of the script, checking every, you know what I mean, inch of the set. Fuck, man. There was a person on the set whose job it was to make sure that the pencils on a desk in a business office were correctly aligned and that nobody had bumped them. You know what I mean? You move a pencil to the other side of the, the mug 
and you fuck up the illusion. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. And I, yeah, I, I know I know what you're saying about continuity. That Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're dead on. Yeah, for, for so sure. So the is full of fucking continuity errors and contradictions and, 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 and script and, and, and script errors. And you know what I mean? It's just... Because... Because the film the film was made in different years and patch it up together yep. later. That's the problem. With a mixed with a with a mixed with a mixed crew of Yes, yeah, for sure. <laughs> if, yeah. If, it, if it was done if it was done de a decade in in, in okay. segments of decades, you fucked up. Yeah. It was a mm. movie it was a movie that took fifty years to make. Right. Went way over budget. Constantly, they were constantly restaffing, right? They were constantly hiring and firing people if they didn't sort of go along with it. You were too That's smart, position, too dumb for your position. You know what I mean? You're over your pay grade, whatever. Poof, they just get rid of you, stick somebody else in because it's all anonymous anyway. That's the a good fucking analogy. That's a good analogy. I like that. Enough. It's just a movie script of the most overblown, bad film ever made. You know, I call it I, I, I call the Bible a book, a, a, a book of shitty prose. It's shitty prose. That's you know? like that, that, that would be the equivalent of trying of, of the people of that of that uh, uh, generation, well, not generation of, of that century, try to write Star Wars in, in, in a 10 year gap. Right, trying to try to write what's the possibility, the maximum possibility. God was this, Jesus was that. They did uh, 10, 10, 15 miracles or what, whatnot, right? And then because that's 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 far out, right? But that's they did it with Star Wars and it was pretty shitty. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, no. Star 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 Wars Star Wars is exactly a, an analogy for the perfect. Yeah, for the perfect. yeah, yeah. No, but okay. What I, what I what I meant what I meant is okay. I I'll, re, I'll rephrase it. Uh, what I'm talking right. about is sorry. Go on, go on. You, the thing about Star Wars is though is it was in the hands of three different production companies, and the and the guy who was the 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 really the 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 head writer behind it was only there, right? For one, two, three, four, five, six, or four, five, six, one, two, three. If you're an absolute purist, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, four, but then four, five, six, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like, what the fuck is this? It's you know, you're watching it, and it's like, wait a minute, they're just, they're just reusing the same themes and the same tropes, and mm -hmm. you know, yeah. and and it's not original, and it's and it 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 you know, it was That's one of those right. stories that probably shouldn't have even had prequels made because you know the 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 original. The original trilogy was pretty self-contained and pretty tight, but then when they started to expand upon it, right? Then all the fans got pissed off. Uh, fans no, no, no! Stop it! Stop it! We don't want to go with the Star Wars. It was a joke for me, and then you, like, got it on. Let's go back to the topic. Sure. Like the Bible was written by. Um, People who weren't there and stuff like that. Yes. Well, the, 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 the point of using a movie analogy is just saying that you have a story, you have a central idea, and then it, it gets shifted into all these different hands. Right. And the more it shifted into these different hands and, and, you know, and different people with different ideas, the more it's going to change. And it can't, it can't remain immutable. Like this, the immutable word of God, right? The uh, ever unchanging word of God. That's why I think that the Jewish position is a lot more reasonable because they're at least willing to acknowledge the fact that that times change and that we have to discuss, you know, uh, uh, what 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 should you know what what should be part of our of our religion or whatever, right? But you can only do that if, as P.O. said, that God fucked off and is not going to say, how dare you change my immutable rules, you know? Because in the Christian faith, if you even try to do that, he's going to strike you down with a bolt of fucking lightning, send you straight to hell, you know? You will be roasting on a spit for eternity. Heresy.
All right. When, when, a, when, a, when a woman when a woman speaks, you have to be shut shut the fuck up. Oh, I, I, <laughs> especially especially when she's got a dog. <laughs> I, I expect everybody else to join in and tell me what they think. Yeah, you know? Just joking, just joking, just uh, spicy the apple bit. Sure, uh, sure. And, and if you we are just stopped, uh, we don't know to what to talk. We should continue to watch the video about that sure. talking. Oh, because I'm into this that. Is what, because this is what, how we started. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm totally into that. So what I'm going to do is this time I will share it before I uh, I can't even. Where the fuck? Is I'm sorry, my Discord disappeared. Obviously, you're not on. You are still there. Yes, no, I'm just kidding. Hold on. Are you streaming this in uh, in YouTube? Because I haven't got the YouTube open, so I don't yeah, know yeah, what yeah. people are commented. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you cannot go back with your opinions. It's already it's all written. recorded, buddy. It's all yeah. recorded. <laughs> God, yeah. All right, are we ready? Yeah, I'm watching it. Argument in the way he understands minds operating. Either he's going to be doing so definitely, definitionally, or he's going to be doing so experientially. All right, it's that simple. It's either or, or, or both. Now, the fact of the matter is, one could posit the idea that all of God's thoughts um, neither precede or um, occur after, that they, they, that they are all, I'll use the term simultaneous, although some people might object to that term, that they are concurrent. Neither one uh, precedes or uh, comes after. So that, that would not pose a problem. So his, his only argument would be definitional, that it wouldn't fit with a definition, or that based upon the way we know minds, this, this argument is going around and around in circles. Now, when uh, theologians and Christians speak of God being timeless, it just simply means that he yeah, is that independent of the material succession. Okay, one minute, well, bro. one of the big problems is that, that, that Dawkins has just, has just said that um, God's, God's thoughts could be simultaneous. Now, You know, we have to show time. How do you have a temporal simultaneity? This doesn't make any sense. It just makes the problem worse. And I don't know how many times I have to keep saying this is not an inductive argument. I, at no point have I, I made an argument saying something along the lines of, you know, all 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 known minds um, are temporal. Therefore, every mind is temporal. I have not said that. What I'm saying is, it, it's his burden of proof to show me how something can be a mind, have succession of um, thoughts, which seems to be what we mean by the term mind, and it to be t uh, atemporal or timeless. He hasn't done that. He just keeps accusing me of, of either begging the question of, of uh, what time means. I mean, we didn't get any response to my um, suggestion that, you know, he even defines time as a series of discrete, states of affairs, what he calls events, and I say, well, a mind is a series of thoughts which are discrete states of affairs. If so I, it seems to me that, they, that a mind, by his own lights, would presuppose time. Hey, Box, we're, yeah. not, we're not doing the one minute thing now. So okay. Feel okay. Yeah. yeah. But, so, but, no, but look, I want to say something. I'd like to your response. Yeah, 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 sure. I I just, let, just, but yeah, but let me just, I just want to say something real quick. Uh, I don't, I... In a, in a few minutes, uh, this wasn't the original intent of this hangout, so I wanna I'm I, I'm gonna wanna interject in a minute or so or a few to um to get back to the point of what the hangout was. But feel free to have your little back not little but your back and forth for now. But I just wanna let you know I wanna jump in at some point and do what the main point of the hangout was. Well, I, okay, I, so, I, I, no, you had your chance. It's my turn to speak. Oh, okay. you were giving. Fox, you're being very rude. Uh, yeah. Th hey, by the way, thanks for letting me cut in. Yeah, it's my turn. Okay, so basically what Fox is doing is he's regurgitating the very same thing that he has said three times over. And I will say 
would be an inductive from his uh, from his observation or experience. He said this does not seem right because of the way we understand minds to operate. That would be an inductive argument unless he wants to otherwise say this is how it's defined. He would then have to argue that his definition is the only correct one. The fact of the matter is it is certainly possible uh, for God to have all thoughts being concurrent. Now, I don't know that that's necessarily the case, but but it may be. And all such definitions and descriptions of God are in the form of, of an analogy. All theologians recognize this. Yes, but the problem not, is that... Uh, I'm not done yet. Well, hurry up. I'm not done yet. Hurry up. Hey, okay, so you, could, you could be a jerk to me, but Fox has been that's nothing but mouth. nice. I'm not done yet. Okay, good. He's been nothing but nice. Shut Don't be a jerk mouth. to him. Shut your mouth, Joe. Don't be a jerk to him. Let me, Joe, shut up. Uh, <laughs> let, me, uh, let me do the muting. Let me do the muting, please. Otherwise, I can. Okay, well, up. tell Joe to shut his fat trap. Joe, just please just let them. Uh, yep, all of you got to say shut your this, fat this trap to the, me. No, Joe, this is not the transvestite the, room. The okay? obnoxious one yeah, comes around. Oh, fuck off. All right, Fox. Hey, Fox and Dawkins, you guys, you. Uh, feel free to have a back and forth. Dawkins doesn't want to be interrupted, so but Fox wants you to hurry up. So yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously the meantime, they, they took this for the transvestite. Right? In in the meantime, uh, I just want to let everyone. Yes, we're, really classy, really classy Hold there. On. Did you hear that? Did you hear what he said? He said uh, obviously they mistook yeah. this for the transvestite room. Oh yeah. Hmm with the ad hominems yeah so you know he said it it's on record um, right. okay, guys. Uh, okay guys okay guys somebody please. with a penis to dress like All a right. woman i'm in the middle of a sentence i'd like to finish a sentence please so look can we just leave them alone to discuss what they're going to discuss for a few minutes and then i want to change it back to what the okay. at least briefly for what i wanted to talk about Upon opening this hangout, but for now, okay. you guys, I need good. Good. To so we're just go. going around like a dog chasing um its, to its go. tail. Uh, Fox is just repeating the fun. same thing he's. Um, yeah. I don't think that you uh, <clears throat> are just going to be dismissed. It's, it's just oh, it has to be done. It has to be it done. Has to be okay, done. well, it, ha it has it has to be done. In the it name of uh, of humanity and as a humanitarian <laughs> gesture, yeah, I will yeah. allow thank, it. Thank you for the I, talk. See you next thank time. you, Almighty One. Uh, oh, no, no problem. Anytime. I'm I'm very very. Uh, 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 you can talk approachable. Talk call me approachable. approachable. I, I yeah. like that. That was cute. Approachable. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll see you later. Right, uh, everybody. Alpha. See you later. Yeah. yeah. Have fun. Yeah. Take care. Roger. Said before that the way we understand minds to be, he is making an inductive argument. Otherwise, he's making a, a case based upon definition. Now, if it's not based upon an inductive argument, if it's not based uh, in an a posteriori way, I hope I pronounced that right. A posteriori. A, a posteriori. Thank you. Then, then it would be in an a priori way, right? Now, which is it, Fox? Is it definitional, or is it the other? Well, I, I'm, I'm not making an a priori argument. But okay. The thing good. is, no, no. Let me, let me yeah, answer your question. Is it the other? This, well, definition. Do you think definitions? Do you think the is definition it the of other? Can you answer my that question? Let me answer your question. Joe. Let me answer your question then. Do you not think that? Um, God, you made me lose my place. So, do you not think that d that what we, definitions are arrived at by a posteriori experiences of things? Okay. So, what we mean by a house is, you know, is what we encounter houses in the world, and we find out that there are similarities between certain types of buildings, and we define it as a house. Now, this is just again, this is not. You've made no substantive rebuttals to what I've I've put forward. Sure I want I to understand. Now, I want to understand. Okay, how it is that you now? You've, it's interesting that you dropped the term simultaneity because I think you realise that it is inherently a temporal word. Now, how you can have an a, you can lay claim to a temporal concept 
and use it in a timeless concept. Oh yeah, sure. I context can. It's easy still is it makes no sense. It's incoherent. Sure, it does make sense. I can does, it so how, it how do you how do you have? It can mean. You, let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. How how can you have simultane, uh, simultaneous thoughts occurring outside of time if simultaneity is a temporal concept? Because I'm using the term simultaneity to mean concurrent. That both things neither precede at the same time. Excuse me. Shut your mouth and don't interrupt me. I didn't interrupt you. Okay. That happened I, at the same I, time. I said I said before that when that some you people may object. It. Shut your mouth. Interrupt me one more time, and I will no longer respond to you. I'm getting tired of you interrupting <laughs> me. Okay. Now, as I said, some people might object to the word simultaneity. And I, and I inserted another word, since they, they, they object to that, would be to be concurrent. Now, in, in theology, God is – okay, fuck you. You're done. I'm no longer responding to you. You're an asshole. <laughs> no, you're a complete oh, asshole so because you persisted in just interrupting you me. You're trolling me. Fox, Look, can you silence him? He yeah, wait, 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 hold on, hold on a second. He is hold trolling. On. Yeah, no, hold on. Fox, what's so hard about not interrupting? You interrupted. Yeah. Don't, yeah, get, yeah. don't get butthurt. No, 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 no. Yes, no, I'm not. You know what? what I'm done like dealing living. with Fox because he will not stop interrupting me. <laughs> All right. It's a form of trolling. All right, so look. Let's I'm back. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why I can't see anybody. Ah, here we go. Yeah. So, nonetheless, uh, I have to go to. Oh, to really? Because I had another one. Uh, maybe I'll leave it for the next uh, the next session. Yeah. I had another one lined up, but yeah, this went quite a long time. This went like two hours, almost two and a half hours. Ooh. Ooh, indeed. Yeah. So yeah, I have to go to sleep. Okay. Um, All right. Have a good week. Yeah. You too. See you tomorrow. Let's say. Indeed. Yes. Did you say breast? I said yes. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> no, it's just joking. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Have Good fun. night. See you. Bye. <laughs> Take care of you. <laughs> You're a funny guy. These people. That was fun. Yeah, so, very interesting. Yeah, <clears throat> and I've got I've got a, a, a whole bunch more of these lined up. So so I've certainly got content for uh, for the foreseeable uh, future. Yeah, and uh, you know, now you have the capturing debates and uh, and uh, clubhouse, you know. Yeah, I also have this uh, somebody in the side chat called a dean, a dean, who okay. would like to come in and say something about Jesus. I don't know why he's in the side chat when all he has to do is click on the link and he can come in and actually make his case. Okay, a dean, here it is. All gods are imaginary. Prove me wrong. Come in and do that. Come on. Uh, are, are you okay with that, uh, Alpha? We... Yeah, yeah. No, I'm you can fine. Come in and prove me wrong. Sure. I'll even give you enough time to so you don't have to rush. Come on. But you do have to move. You know, move. Move, move, move. And the 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 claim. Yep. What's that? What, I'm sorry. I said I'm open to hear any evidence. Oh, absolutely. And I I'm the, I I don't want to hear evidence. I want to I want to be proven wrong by whatever whatever evidence is or well, you just got to you. 
you pretty much have to show God to me to prove me wrong. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I like to hang out at atheist uh, live streams. I figure if the second coming, it's probably going to show up there first and boom. <laughs> exactly. You know. Uh, I think the guy is uh, he's not in his right mind because he's he's quoting nonsense in the side chat. I really thought he would come in and give us a a run for our money, but looks like he's a bit of a a bust, mm. a wet match. You know that, Aideen. Come on, prove you're not a wet match. Yeah, yeah. Well, keyboard out there. Yeah, keyboard Christian. Yeah. Oh, yeah. they like to do it. go ticky tacky, ticky tacky, and you know, copy pasta their little, yeah. their little. Script. I'm saying to them, come on, come on, and and make your case. Come on, the room's open. There's no restrictions. We're live, right. so the whole world can hear what uh, brilliant brilliance emanates from your uh, from your intelligent yeah. mind. <laughs> So that's an open challenge to anybody. Come on in. And prove me wrong. See, everybody says, everybody has the stupid excuse about Discord. I don't use Discord. Oh, fuck. This is what Edeen says. I don't use Discord anyways because of predators. If you want to debate me, Come on, StreamYard. See? Chicken. Coward. Runs away. Not Runs coward. away from a fair fight. Yeah. What, what were you going to say? I, I just said mod powers, you know. Probably has mod powers on StreamYard. And, you know, so oh, you mod powers mean absolutely nothing as long as you're respectful. So, uh, you know... Uh, whether I'm on stream yard or whether he's here, as long as we're respectful, there is no reason to even con to even contemplate mod powers. You know, I talk, I stop. You talk, you stop. I talk, it, it, you know, you know what it means. But mm. I that, trust my that, own. Mo I'm sorry. That environment is not uh, is not what Christians want to want to talk to atheists. They want to be able to slam the microphone shut as soon as things start to get really, really uncomfortable. Exactly. Or now they know. They know that I'm a fair moderator. That make their asshole pucker, and they don't want to do it. They don't want to mess with it because, well, I don't know. Thought experiments actually require a lot of creative thinking and a lot of external thinking, and that's something that makes Christians really uncomfortable anyway. That's why they cling to this whole idea of a fucking world view, you know, which I'm not completely convinced that such a thing even exists. Yeah, I, I'm you know? absolutely convinced that it doesn't, because there is only one reality. So what, what does a world view actually mean? Individual sense perceptions that have been warped by by Stone Age beliefs is well, my sort of, if you wanted if you wanted me to give my own original definition, that's what I would give you. You know? Okay, I would uh, I would say worldviews are more nationalistic. Like there's a Russian worldview, there's a North Korean worldview, Hungarian worldview, um, and it's got nothing to do with supernatural. But isn't that just part of nationality? Yeah, absolutely. I don't, I don't yes, think, yes. I don't think it exists outside of nationality. So, so exactly. my my so, is is that so it's not this idea. This concept of a of a world view being you know farted into existence by Christians, and that not only is there this thing called a world view, but there's only one right world view, mm -hmm. and if you don't subscribe to said world view, and I'm like, well, how do I fit into this? Because I've read your fucking Bible three or four times. I know what's in it. I know the 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 the, the parts that you like to exalt. And I know the parts you like to cover up, but I know, a, a, mm -hmm. you know, about other holy texts too. So, you know, what the fuck does, it, how, how, how would I formulate What makes a world? text holy? Can, just tell me what, what makes this fucking text holy? Oh. Because I hear that word all the time. 
Holy. Uh, I'm using it. It is nothing more than than a, than in the declarative sense that they declare that it's a holy text. In the yeah, cell. but what do they and mean by it being holy? Sacramental, reverential, immutable. Remember that immutable word of God. You got. Oh yeah, yeah. It's got to, it's got to, it's got to deserve that uh, at, attribution for, in some way or another. But it's completely subjective because, you know, Jews don't particularly regard the Islamic text as worth a shit. And, uh, <laughs> you know, you're talking about the, ho the Holy Quran. Yeah. Well, you know, you uh, got the Holy Quran, you got the Holy Bible. Now, they're both holy. Holy can right. only mean one thing. So are they both just a subset of holy? Is that a common denominator? Is that they're both holy? It doesn't matter what they, what books they are. They just got to be under a category of holy. They're written by man by they they they're 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 books that are written by man made gods. Absolutely, but tons of books have been yeah. written by men that aren't considered holy. So why would these be considered holy if we can only get a definition of holy that they adhere to? We might get an answer to that. Simple. It's all about numbers. I can write a holy text, but if nobody buys it, nobody reads it, doesn't mean anything. I can't even declare it as holy, right? Mm -hmm. Can't say along those lines. Otherwise, I just look like, you know, a crazy person on Sunset Boulevard that's, that's talking into their own lap, you know? Um, but if I write a book, or a group of people write a book 2,000 years ago, and 2,000 years later, you have all these people that still believe the shit. That's one hell of a story. Ooh, I tell you. That <laughs> is the holy thing, you know? Did, did, you notice uh, that, uh, did you notice that Yahweh himself has appeared in the side chat? Welcome, I Yahweh, have. to the channel to the chat, to the live stream. Uh, you're very much invited to uh, come on uh, on the panel. Link is at the top of the of the side chat. And make your case that uh, you are not imaginary. Prove me wrong. Yes, yes, bring your supreme words. But uh, we don't want your supreme words. We want to be convinced that you are not imaginary. So do come in. <clears throat> Somebody who is one time to try, uh, had to defend my own sanity. <laughs> I can tell you it's a very, very difficult thing to do. Yeah, well, obviously but, he's, no. he's, he's just revealed himself as a troll. So just kind of an anticlimax right there. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not seeing the side chat that you're talking about. I'm looking. It's, at it's the, the YouTube. It's a YouTube uh, uh, live stream. The side chat on YouTube. Uh, I'm not. Or the. There. Or the uh, no, I wouldn't even call it the side chat. It's the live chat. Sometimes hmm. it's not on the side. Sometimes it's uh, on the on the below the below the video. And sometimes it's on the side, depending how you set. Uh, your screen size. Oh, I can't look at YouTube and be on Discord at the same time. It causes all kinds of hell. Oh, uh, okay, no problem. So, if you're running a if you're running a stream, yeah, but I mean, uh, the stream is 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 the, is you and I basically, uh, and anyone else who dares uh, to join. Because everyone is welcome, but please be respectful. We're all humans to start off with, and we do we deserve that innate, expected respect. Well, respectful is 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 hard to do on a two way street. With well, I try. I try and be respectful. I well, mean, you try. It, uh, if Everybody tries, but the problem is, is that that uh, the 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 you know a, a lot of a lot of preceptors or a lot of a lot of people that are just barfing scripture into the 
into the side walls <laughs> don't actually want to have any sort of discussion anyway. Yeah, um, but I mean, if our attention came in yesterday for a few minutes, and we were both, we were all respectful to each other, right? Oh yeah, and I kept my mouth shut because I knew the moment that I opened it, he would probably bolt out the door. He cannot stand me, so. Well, you know, logic, rational people are a danger to Christian thinking. Oh, I just, I just presented him the faith versus works question and he just fucking lost it you wow know? <laughs> and then he I mean, said i'm gonna block you. how about that and if gary came in here i'd respect Google him it. you know i wouldn't i wouldn't i wouldn't go off on him at all i'd expect a, and i'd expect the same uh courtesy expect Expect in one hand, shit in the other. See which one fills up first. And well, the thing about is, um, as part of my <clears throat> as part of my retro archive uh, 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 presentations, <clears throat> some of it is at hangouts where Darth is in my hangout, and he's in it like in the old days. They used to be in and out of hangouts because they used to run all the time. They were never streamed live. Uh, so you had, to re you had to record some of them. Um, but some of them were, I think, I, I can't even remember. But anyway, the thing is that the, the Hangout, there was a directory of the Hangouts that were open. People could jump from one to the other, much like this Discord, where you can jump from one server to the other. And um, that's what we would do. So so the, um, the videos that I have uh, queued up coming some will be from my hangout where Darth Dawkins is just in there <clears throat> hanging out and, and maybe leaving and then coming back. And, you know, just he, not the same person that he is today back in 2016. In really? 20, yeah. Um, he's, he, you know, he still lives back then with his mother like he does now. His mother still calls him oh. from the top of the stairs still in 2016 like she calls him now so gary's really just a little child being taken care of by his mother um and, and she's, she's i probably... see it as being a hyena waiting for her to die so he can so he can take over her assets Ooh, that's uh, i don't I'm that's, sorry, that's, that's I, materialistic <laughs> But I think watch, obviously you obviously you have a point and you're probably correct. I've watched I've watched my own family members act like that. So, you know. We have a we have a Muslim fellow called Nazrul Hoag in the side chat. And he makes a statement there is no god but Allah. Prove wrong atheists. And then he follows up with a a comment uh, stating Allah who Akbar. So, and then <laughs> listen to this. Alpha, are you ready for this next question? Please. From the Muslim. Are you sitting? Are you sitting down? I am. Okay. Here comes the question from Nazrul Hoag. Are you people racist? Mm. I would now, say that because we're not religious, we're, we're, we're we are uniquely. What would honest. prompt? What would prompt someone to actually ask that question? Uh, based on on our our discourse. Oh well, a lot of a lot of a lot of theist people believe that atheists are Nazis or are inherently you know moralists or you know. Well, Nazrul. Very certain. Nazrul Hoag at the very top of the chat column that you're in is a, there's, a, there's a link, a Discord link to where we are right now so come on in and uh, take on take my challenge I, my challenge is all gods are imaginary prove me wrong your, your Allah is imaginary Nazrul, 
could you come in and I will, I'll just sit back and listen and I'm sure Alpha will too, while you present your argument for Allah being actually real and not imaginary. I, I accept your challenge. Come on in. See, the problem, Alpha, is that most people uh, are all talk and no action. <laughs> my, my chicken's oh, I, not doing well today. I, I can do one better than that. I can give him a little chicken opera. Oh, let's do it. What do you want? You as want long as it's not copyright. <laughs> no, 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 it's all classical. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What do you want? You want you want Carmen? You want uh, Best Fake Arethusta? You know, uh, I, I, I got a few. Um, I'm not sure that I, I could think one uh, off the top of my head, so I'll have to choose from the two that you mentioned, and I'll choose the, the, the first one. Okay. Excellent. That was wonderful. That was the best rendition of a chicken singing common that I've ever heard in my entire life. One of those useless talents I have. Totally, totally. I useless. talk to the chickens. <laughs> and the chickens, they sing to me. And the chickens go. But the bear, you do it better. Come on, Nazrul. Hey. Satan, join us so we can, uh, we can together, the three of us, combine and defeat any Christian uh, with an idea of Christianity that comes into our den and takes us on and is brave enough, courageous enough. Well, if you come in here, Christians, Muslims, you will be looked upon for the rest of history as a warrior for your theology. So come on in and uh, and and be deified down the road. Not quite now. It'll come. If you successfully prove to me that your particular God is real. I'll accept. I will retract my statement that all gods are imaginary. So, come on in. Link is at the top. Rename the channel Theist Hangout. Theist Hangout. Yeah. I said Theist. Yes, I said. I said if he convinces you, you can rename your channel. The, the, oh, absolutely! The, the, yeah. If you convince me, you've um, you get administrator. Uh, you get administrator level on this computer on, on on this channel. It's yours. You can change it to whatever you like, or you get official administrator advisor status on this channel. In which case, you tell me what to do, and I just do it. So come on in. That's uh, that's uh, I'm giving. I'm putting. A, I'm putting like my whole digital existence on the table here. Yes, but if you fail, Sidney Winston mails you a box of dead fish. Yes, you have to read the fine print, and I forgot to mention it. Isn't it? Isn't it? It's salmon spawning season right about now. Just walk well, along there's, a, there's certainly bird spawning season right about now, and man, bird song is beautiful. Huh. but if the eggs don't get sat on, they smell. 
Uh, I don't get that close. <laughs> yeah. the, tr the trees are tall and the nests are at the top of the trees. I had, uh, had sparrows. Uh, we've, got, nest on we've got finches and robins and uh, blue jays. And other things that I can't identify, but they all make one hell of an orchestra. You know, one thing I wanted to mention was earlier I was uh, I was watching Tom Lap Tom Rabbit's uh, latest uh, addition to the Dark Dawkins Hall of Fame, mm -hmm. and it was uh, or, or no, maybe it was capturing the babes. It was the it was the combo channel that they have now, mm -hmm. but whatever it was, it was Darth it was Darth debating a a. a a Muslim, and I have to say, I think that's 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 probably some of the most uncomfortable material I have to comb through, mm -hmm. because it's very rare when you watch a debate where you don't agree, or you you find both participants like sort of equally, sort of cringeworthy, you yeah. know, because Islam is rife with problems has just as many just as many twists and turns and continuity problems as the Christian Bible really. Yeah. Um so I although I have to say I'm not as familiar, but uh you know, that being said, it's like, well fuck, man, you I usually watch these Darth Dawkins kind of shit and you know I want to root for one side or the other or listen to one speaker or the other like challenge this guy. Uh, but when it's Darth beating up on a Muslim, it's like, wow, I almost want to root for Darth. Oh, God, I can't believe I just Did said you just that. say that on my channel? Oh, oh, I know, I know. <laughs> Do you realize I have to delete every, I have to delete this channel now? It's, it's, it's the fact that, you know, oh, the just core tenets of, of, of Islam are just, you know, Especially, God, if you're female, there's there's no way. There's no way you can read that book in the right, you know, and, and be in your right mind and go, oh, yeah, sign me up. That's yeah, but if you're, a, if you're a submissive female, then it's perfect for you. Really? Yeah. But because... at nine years old, you don't even know whether you're a submissive female or a dominant female or, you know. If 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 they're if they're jerking you out of your family, no, if you according to the book, if you're female, you're submissive. End of story. But in today's uh, climate, if you are a submissive by nature, and you're looking for religion and you're looking for something to you know whatever people who who find a religion look for, well, perhaps that's the best one for submissive women or Christianity. Uh, you know, let's not I'm, let's I'm not take away it. Christianity, take Christianity off the table, or for that matter, Judaism. Come to think of it, uh, when it comes to oh. having to, there's the women be submissive. I think that covers all three. It does. Uh, I, I I would say that you know, as we were talking about earlier, modern Judaism is a little bit more fluid, and it seems to be moving a lot more with the times. I don't think that your average Jewish woman would call herself submissive or you know helpless or or weak you know uh, uh certainly not so so it, it doesn't you know it seems like what doesn't what doesn't jive with those old laws is just it's just simply ignored you know yeah. Yeah. and i can i can i can respect i can respect them for that because uh, i don't i don't see i don't see any such uh, give or flexibility in Christianity or Islamic faiths that women's roles are very, very fixed and there isn't a whole lot of wiggle room. And if you don't fit into that category, uh, you're, you're doomed to some sort of societal exile. Um, well, that sucks. From my point of view, neither one are a very good deal. And you know, according to the tenets of Islam, I can be I can be taken from my family at the age of nine, where I barely have any sense of self at all. Ugh. So you're talking. 
cruelty, just, woman just base cruelty. In, in, in that in that particular in that particular religious structure, this is not only allowed; it's encouraged. Yeah. Uh, men can have multiple wives. Yeah. Uh, it's and we know that polygamy is inherently abusive. There's no no situation in modern times that we know of where men have taken a bunch of wives and not had horrible fucking exploitation and abuse come from that situation. It does not work. Right. You know? Um, I think as human I think as human beings, it's much more evolutionarily advantageous for us to be monogamous. As far as our child rearing and whatever, it makes sense. How about when polyamorous? If one man starts to have has has babies with five or six women, it's very, very difficult to sustain that whole relationship. In modern times, how do you take care of that many children without them suffering? That's what I mean by inherently abusive. Why would it be any different over there? Why well, have not. so many fucking children? <clears throat> Decreed by the prophet. If you're talking about either Islam or you're talking about the FLDS church, the fundamentalist Mormons that live in all of these wacko uh, communities or like border towns between the states. Listen, stuff is where listen, listen. Is, the, the, you know. In this universe, there's only place for one creator. So we need to sort that out first. Yeah, we, we got we got a competition going here. We got three um, contestants for the one true creator. Who is, who is this prime mover of which you speak? The prime mover is the one that is unco the uncaused one, the one that um, is eternal and uncaused and knows everything and cannot be wrong about anything and is good. Above and all. if. Well, uh, but if 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 it, if if he's there, and he is close enough to see the Earth, and he is radiating all this power down onto the planet, why is it that we, without incredibly sophisticated scientific measuring instruments and viewing instruments and things that we can do now, have seen any evidence of this? We see evidence of the universe expanding, yes, but that's not God. You know. Mm. According to the the Bible, he's supposed to be right above the firmament. I I I have a question for you about the Bible that I just thought of. In fact, I because I just don't know the sequence. Who was created first, the animals or Adam? Oh, uh, what is it? Uh, light, earth. Water. Animals were fifth day, and Adam and Eve were sixth day. Okay, so the animals were created first. Correct. Yes. Okay. Confirmed. Verified. Now. No, no, I... no, no. Well, I, I don't, don't, don't hold me on this because I'm not, I'm not a Genesis scholar by any stretch. Well. Of the Basically, you got to look at to see what was created on each of the seven days or six days. And here's the other goofy thing is that the Genesis accounts are different according to the translations. Like, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, God said, let there be light, you know, but I thought there was another. Who was he talking to? God. Who was he talking to? And who, who threw the switch? And then did the light, the light switch. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, 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 like I said, there, there are a bunch of different accounts and not all of them agree with each other. Have to literally open up the, the, the first page of, you know, King James or. Yeah. Well, you gotta, I, I, I think that Genesis 1 mm -hmm. in, in itself has a myriad of problems, so many problems and issues that you could spend a lifetime d discussing those and break and tearing them apart and showing how much nonsense it is 
in such a way that all everything that follows is just uh, as much garbage as as Genesis one, and just as useless. Well, you know that plaque that they have on the wall of Ken Ham's Ark Encounter thing. If I can convince you that. Uh, the flood was not real, then I can convince you that heaven and earth are not real, and it's the the whole plaque is wrapped around by a giant satanic looking serpent, which is I guess supposed to represent the devil because so you know, and, fear they're trying to, to to instill fear it depends depends on depends on what you read you know some translations say it's a snake, other translations say it was you know the embodiment of evil you know that happened to look like a snake yeah. You know, commanded to crawl on its belly for the rest of eternity, but it always crawled on its belly. So, uh, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm um, gonna make one more attempt to get uh, anyone in here and and give us uh, give us that proof that we're waiting for. I just can't wait. How long should we give it? Mm, don't know. I'll give it. We'll give. We'll, we'll chat for another. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll chat for another few minutes and wait for anyone to join us and 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 take this uh, this chat room, this discourse into a different direction. Or I will just uh, say thank you to everybody for watching and uh, disconnect, and then we can just. Uh, well, the Discord room will just stay open for anybody who wants to join. Perfect. Okay, so... Uh, anyone who wants to come in, you've got, like, now to do it. Otherwise, maybe, if you can't pluck up the courage today, then perhaps you can... Uh, Sleep on it and pluck up the courage tomorrow. Now, Nazrul says I'm joining. If you're joining, then I'm going to... Uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to take that back to here and see if you are trolling or really joining. Because I'm betting you're trolling. Yeah, he's trolling. What? <laughs> exactly. It's a weak chicken noodle soup, my friend. Exactly. Yeah. So. Uh... I'll uh, I'll take this uh, opportunity to thank everyone who is watching or did watch or will watch. To, uh, thank you. And uh, as we slide uh, out of um, live streaming, how about we listen to some music on the way out? Sounds like a plan. time to put the coffee machine on. Ah.